Hello, everyone, and welcome to the stream. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. I'm Bray Thorne. How's it going? We don't need any echo because it's just me here. Just, just me and you guys. You know, no more pretense. No more pretending. I'm, I'm uh, in a. I guess. In, I guess that's like. Am I in a big hallway? Really? What? What do we find so epic about that? That like that hallway kind of reverberation. I guess uh, I'm really late, and I hadn't even had the uh, the stream set up yet on YouTube. So probably a lot of people think I'm not showing up there. Um, at least it's very quiet over there anyway, but welcome either way. What's up Twitch chat? What's up YouTube chat? Welcome to the stream. Sorry, I am late. I, uh, forgot to change everything back from after, um, after the, the Sunday gaming stream. So that's something I'm going to have to keep in mind. I set up a totally different profile, but it still messes with like everything. Thank you, OBS. Well, let's see what's going on here. RHD Brian says LGN. I agree. That's a little too quiet for the music there. That's just about right. Uh, let's see. I forgot to change the stream. Yeah, it was me talking about I forgot to change the stream title. So it still said out a note, even after I changed it and started streaming again, it still said that I'm, str I'm st streaming Metroid. I'm not. Like, it says the title. It's right there. PC Matchmaker Live. But whatever, it's okay. What's up, Coggle? How's it going? Uh, and yeah, Hardy, uh, the, the Q join command doesn't work. That's not that way it works anymore. I think that's an initial chat thing when you click it that I need to fix. It's the form. So you fill out the form. Um, Bears Beats Battlestar says, just started eating dinner. Talk about perfect timing. It is, I guess. 25 minutes late. Perfect timing. That's, that's like my ideal world right there. Ice Fry One says hello. How's it going? Welcome. Earth Thunder three three six says let's go nerds. Let let's go indeed, nerds. But like the positive connotation. Nice shirt says Brian. Yes, it is. I like it a lot. Best part of every two. Oh, easy Jake Oven. Thank you very much. Glad I didn't miss it. Riley West, welcome. Glad to have you here. Hi, hi yourself. Double highs all around. Warwolf, what's up? How's it going? Over in YouTube chat, waking up over here. Uh, what's going on, Warwolf? Alice Duck, how's it going? Bullet Pretzels, welcome in. Glad to have y'all here. I do have some news. Got some big news. <laughs> and I don't know how to feel about it. But I guess we'll find out how I feel about it. I'm sure, certainly not shy of talking about how I feel about things, right? I missed something here. Is that, did I click on the wrong? No, that's... Where did they email me? Okay. So guess who after, look, usually when I talk about an SI a couple times, at them on Twitter, stuff like that, they'll like look at who I am and be like, oh, this is, this is, this guy talks about companies like ours. That's crazy. We should talk to him and so on and so forth. That's how things happened early on. And then once it sort of like got out that that's what I do, I'd have companies reach out to me and stuff. And that's pretty cool. But there are certain companies where I've mentioned them a few times, some of them many times, and they have never reached out to me. Uh, believe it or not, even though they were heavily featured in early episodes of SI Weekly, many of them, um, CyberPower PC has never reached out to me, not once. Isn't that crazy? Unless I totally missed it, but like, Usually when companies want to do that, they sort of cover every avenue. They're, you know, they're, they're thorough about that. But anyways, who here saw the video from yesterday? Raise your hands. I can't see you doing it. I just wanted to know if maybe you would. If you did, good job. You're a team player. I appreciate you. 
Bullet Pretzel says, been watching your channel a lot. Weird being a new PC gamer as of two weeks ago, instead of just jumping in and playing, like I'm craving uh, EDU and wanting to learn as much as I can. It's all good. Once you realize how deep the rabbit hole goes, you kind of want to go there. PC gaming is fun. And then PC DIY is fun. If you go to that, if you go that route too, it's not hand in hand necessarily. They complement each other. Yes, but it's not a necessary thing. Why is, why are my chats not showing up? There they are. And they're too small. Hold on. Uh, my YouTube chats, I mean, uh, not my Twitch chats, I mean, rather. I haven't had these showing for a little bit, I think. And I've been meaning to fix that. What's up, Mr. Heavy Hitters? How are you? Earth, Earth Thunder did watch the video from uh, yesterday. Uh, Triple B watched it too. Jeff Trains, Alice Duck, thank you both for watching. I appreciate that. Um... Cherokee Vapor, good evening, Braithorn. Good evening, everyone. LGN, indeed. Welcome, Cherokee Vapor. Still using this thing. Very nice. I like the feel of it. Really nice feel to it. But thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Um. So, yeah. Listen to this real quick, okay? Um. Hey, Braithorn. Good start. Did not misspell my name. Very good start, okay. I saw your video posted on YouTube about our site and I thought you had some good feedback and wanted to see if you were open to a discussion. Uh, please let me know, looking forward to hearing from you. Best regards, name, Chief Operating Officer, Exotic PC. That's great, that's awesome. I mean, it's not the first time I've talked about them or mentioned them on, on, on uh, Twitter, X, Twitter, whatever. Um, added them, asked questions there, like, why are you guys offering a GT 1030? I asked them these questions over the last, like, year. I've mentioned them here and there and brought them up and mentioned them in videos and linked them and stuff like that. So there's a reason, the, re the reason I wanted to make a video specifically about them. It was time to do so anyway, regardless, because... As I thought, there's someone in the comments saying, yeah, I bought a PC for my son there. I thought it was gonna be, be awesome and it really didn't turn out very good. And now if, I, if I'd known now, then what I know now, if I'd known then what I know now, I would have gone elsewhere. But that's the thing is like, I can't let these things go unanswered for so long. So I figured, okay, you know what? And I've met, I, 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 I teased it to you guys a few times. I was like, Yada yada, exotic PC, don't worry, they're gonna get their own video soon. And no, they're not as bad as Apex. Not nearly as bad as Apex. They're not as bad as Light was, but it's still bad. It's still just like red flags. And I'm like, so the I knew what would happen. I knew that if I published a video dedicated to them with them right there in the title, saying they do not know how to spec out a PC, that it would get it would get the attention it needed. So I guess I'm going to open a dialogue with them. Here's the thing, guys. Here's what can happen. 100%. What can happen is they hear my feedback and they change their stuff. That would be awesome. Because while Apex did do that, eventually, they're still you, we caught them live on streams tr still trying to shoehorn in their 25% off discount. This is where, like, companies making mistakes, it happens. What do they do when they're called out? Or how do they respond? We'll find out. If it's very good and, like, they go back and they, like, rectify things with any customers who have any gr grievances with them, I'm happy. That's, that's the best resolution possible is when things get changed. I'm not just going to be like, no, screw you guys. Screw you. I didn't like what you were doing. No, if they change stuff up, I'm going to be 100% about it. Matter of fact, I will be even happier. The very the likelihood is that they've never gotten this feedback. And the feedback I was providing just wasn't getting to them because I never featured them in a video. I am happier when a company... Think, I'm, let's not get ahead of ourselves. They might not do that. Okay, but I'm happier when things go well like that. Because people keep their jobs customers keep their warranties 
And hopefully any customers who feel like they were wronged, they have that rectified. That's the best case scenario. So let's all, let's all cross our fingers. Let's all hope for the best. And let's not hate because you know what? Apex hasn't done this. They reached out to me first. Apex reached out to me in the beginning, said, we want to give you money to say nice things about us. I said, no, that's not how this works. I don't want your money. I want to make sure the people who give you their money are doing, are, are, are making the right decision. So I'm going to check you guys out in a video for free. Don't worry. That's just what I do. And then it went really badly in that first video. And then radio silence. And they did little cheeky things like putting paragraphs here and there, explaining why they don't put pictures of everything. Maybe we should check out Apex and see what they've done since the last video that came out about them. But uh, I have some, uh, the thing is there are other SIs who we as a community view as upstanding positive SIs that when I first checked them out, I was like, oh no, that's, this is, this is not good right here. I don't like it. And then you know what they did? Changed it up and then provided great support to their customers. Cool. Best case scenario. Now they are like, they are foundational for our community. Those companies, you go in there. I don't, I don't have to rec like, even if a techie or myself don't respond to something, these companies have made such a reputation that they'll get recommended between community members. Pretty great. Base player says, welcome PCMR. I suppose to bullet pretzel. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, rates MG just ordered my first PC after 14 years of console gaming shows up next week. Your vids helped a lot. Happy to hear that rates. You got to tell me what you got. What's up Nemus Nemus tech. How's it going? Jasmine Debean says, is he helping anyone or donators only? I don't take donations for assistance. It, the only thing you need to give is your time because this take, this can take a while because I do it for free and I don't skimp on the details. I don't, I don't rush through helping anybody just to help as, as many people as possible to get more payments, more money in. No, that's why I can't take money for this because then there I'd be fighting off the instinct, the incentive thing in my brain to do more, more quickly so that I could make more money. I cannot do this for money. It would mean I don't do as good of a job. Isn't that weird? Isn't that crazy? There, there's that some, I mean, I'm sure not everybody would feel that way, but I know that I would have this thing of like, I got bills coming up. Things are hard right now. I need to help as many people as possible. And then they don't get the attention they deserve. I don't like that. I just deal with that stress like everybody else. Uh, I have a question. My PC will only boot with one stick of RAM in it. I only have, and only in B2. Both sticks are good. Try dual channel in both two, four and one, three. Exo, there's a, there are, I mean, we could spend half an hour troubleshooting that. I'll tell you, it's either your RAM or it could be your CPU or your CPU pins, the socket pins. Try reseeding your CPU. And when you're reseeding it, take out that CPU, look at your, I don't know what kind of system you have. I have to assume because you're not providing me with a lot of information that you're using a system that is LGA with the pins on the board, not on the CPU, right? and just make sure none of those look bent. Put a flashlight to it. Don't drop anything in the socket. Put a flashlight to it. If anything, if any of them shine when they're not, when they're like not at the right angle, they're bent. And that means those memory channels are not connecting with the pads on the CPU. It could also just be, you know, the CPUs, memory controller and stuff, or the memory, the, the parts, there's parts in the CPU on the motherboard and in the memory that all communicate with each other. One of those ain't working. Jasmine, he is helping anyone. Fill out the form that is linked in the description. Thank you very much for pointing that out. Use your YouTube handle for your name and you'll be added to the list. There you go. Where it says Jasmine DeBean, that's what you would type for your name there. And it just helps. Where It, it means that you answer questions that I need to ask to give you uh, the help that is actually good for you, that actually helps you out as an individual rather than just blanket advice that you'll find in like my videos. Coggle says, I got a laptop from Exotic 10 years ago. Didn't really get a chance to make use of their customer service, which I guess is a good thing. It is. But they did email, email me back to my orders, ask if there are any issues or had any questions. It's generally a good experience. You know who's been around for a long time? Newegg. And they used to have great customer service. They do again now because they're, they are under a lot of scrutiny. 
But there was a, there was quite a while there where they were doing whatever the heck they wanted. And uh, we might be in that time right now with Exotic PC because according to them, they've been around since 1999. I would have to check the records on that when the business was registered, stuff like that. I don't care to. It's likely that whoever founded it had been in the business since that time. That's probably what it is. I don't know. I don't know when it founded. Triple B, thank you for the thousand biddies. You didn't need to do that. What's that about? Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, well, there you go. Look, you got yourself a little, uh, little, little, little medal there. That's a number one right there. Gold diamond or whatever that is. Thank you. But um, that's a good deal of time for a company to change things in various directions, though. True. And Coggle, here's the thing. They don't build those laptops. Those laptops come from an OEM. In fact, the laptops that most system integrators sell, they don't have the facilities, the machinery to build laptops like that. Dell, HP, Lenovo, they make their laptops, right? They also make a lot of their own proprietary hardware for desktops too. System integrators don't do that. So what they do is they buy laptops in bulk from OEMs that manufacture them for multiple different clients and then they slap their logos on them and they, they sell them. So they, they, if, 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 this, if it's a well-built laptop, Exotic can't really take credit for that. Now, support after the fact, you didn't experience it, so we can't speak to that, but that's what they have to provide. Um, also, do they put bloatware, things like that? That's the question, but... Uh, if I was in a queue on Thursday and you did not get to me, do I need to redo the application? No, you don't. Uh, Braxton, you're still in there, if that's the case. I put it in on YouTube, but I'm on Twitch tonight. It was Neil Gardner. Why isn't it your username? Well, I guess on YouTube it says Neil. I don't know. But yeah, if you put it in there, it's still in there. It doesn't matter. You just, I just need to verify that it's you. Is it Jat? I haven't called for us to, for anyone to do that yet to say that they're here, but I do appreciate that. You spelled my name correctly, so it did highlight it for me. I do appreciate that. You don't need the at symbol. If you type my name correctly, it'll highlight it for me no matter what in Twitch and in YouTube chat. But yes, uh, it's a CyberPower PC with rates is okay. 14700KF. If it's a 14th gen system, why have have you contacted CyberPower PC's tech support? But yeah, you could have some bent pins or something, something like that. How long have you had the PC? Did you do anything to it before it stopped working? What's the situation? Matthew Arnold, OMG, I'm so happy to see you. The PC I got from iBuyPower, the AIO says fan unreadable. iBuyPower said change the monitoring setting in the BIOS to ignore. Now their AIO RGB doesn't work. That doesn't make sense. The fan power and PWM, the fan control, um, that is a separate connector from the RGB connector. Unless you mess with the connectors. So what, prob what probably happened is that the uh, AIO pump is plugged into like the AIO header, AIO pump header on the motherboard, right? And maybe like CPU fan is not plugged in, which is fine. So you're turning off the setting in BIOS to because this, like it's trying to find a CPU fan and there isn't one plugged in. So yeah, it's probably saying that that's the issue. Love the donut tea, love them. Uh, Rabu, absolutely same here. They're amazing. You're doing a video on what software things to check when you first get a pre-built, right? Software things to check? I mean, it should be a plain installation of Windows and you're off to the races. I'm not sure what you mean by what software things to check. Is the application to get help? Matthew, this is not a uh, this is not a troubleshooting stream. This is PC Matchmaker where I help, help people find PCs. Uh, you can get tech support in our Discord through the uh, tech questions forum by putting a forum post there. But uh, it sounds like you already contacted iBuyPower's uh, tech support. Okay. They'll get on like a video call with you. That's what you need to do. If this is something that happened after, I mean, their, their, their tech support can work pretty late, but this is something that happened way after hours, call them in the morning and, and do that. But yeah, I already gave you some info on that. Like I can't really troubleshoot stuff in this stream because I would not be able to help anybody purchase a PC. Like I find the PC for them. You know what I mean? And there's no one, nobody else doing that out here. We have a Discord where you can get assistance. It is free. They're very helpful. The volunteer techies. I mean, they don't, they're not on the clock. They don't do it for a living. They do it as volunteers. So it's it's the other thing. When you're getting free help, 
you might not get it immediately. Uh, the best thing to do is to continue talking with iBuyPower's tech support, get on a phone, a, a video call with them. Okay, maybe have them send you a picture of what it's supposed to look like, that kind of thing. But that's the conversation you need to have. That's one of the benefits of getting a pre-built is that you have that tech support. You don't need to go to other sources. And iBuyPower's tech support as long as you have patience with them, they have probably the best tech support in the industry. That is like widely regarded as some of the best tech support in the industry. Uh, so many people in Discord have had great experiences with them. So just make sure that you take the time you need to talk to them, ask them what kinds of help they can give you. They, it sounds like you've already talked to them though. So if you got off that call and it still wasn't working, you got off that call too early. That's what I'm saying. The light inside the unit on top of the G CPU itself. The light inside the unit on top of the CPU itself. Right, that's the CPU block. And I don't know how that stopped doing it. I'm not sure why. But yeah, they are beholden to you to get, provide you with full tech support. If you just got the PC, you're free to just send it right back to them. And it's on their pen. It's on their dime if there's something wrong with it. Uh, you probably don't want to. You might not want to wait that long. Yo, Easy Jacob, and thank you for the Prime sub. Appreciate you. Why is this not monitoring? Thank you very much. Oh, it's because I have it muted. Okay. Okay. All right. I should hear that stuff now. I should hear that stuff come through now. Uh, stuff like checking for bloatware. Making sure BIOS are updated. Checking various window settings. Maybe even doing a quick performance check. Could be helpful for new buyers. Uh, Earth Thunder, most new buyers aren't really going to care about running benchmarks. Um... Various window settings, they're not going most are not going to care about that. They just want to install Steam and get to gaming. A lot of people are going to be that way. Uh, updating the BIOS, if everything runs, they're not going to want to check BIOS and also probably never ever want to get into the BIOS. Um, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's making sure everything's physically good, getting it physically set up properly. That was my priority with the setup video that I did. That seems to be like, I mean, it seems to be kicking butt. Um, but a software thing, I mean, checking for bloatware. The problem with bloatware is it will make you very aware when it's when it's there, when it's around. It'll just be like all in your face. Um, so yeah, also just the, I mean, what shortcuts are on your desktop, that kind of thing. Uh, also, as long as they're buying from an SI where they know they're not going to get bloatware because they watched a few reviews, they should not have to worry about it. Most system integrators don't do much in, in terms of bloatware. They'll put a few, um, like a few shortcuts to URLs to, on their website. That's it. Um, like it might be a survey thing. It might be a, um, you know, a tech support thing where you can remote, they can remote in, things like that. And you want to leave those on there. They're there for a reason. Maybe put them in your documents folder or something if you don't want to look at them. Jeff Trains, uh, Jeff Trains. I mentioned Zydex because I seen they did demo ranch build, knowing he spent some change on it. You should do a video on SIs that are really good at going over the top. I'll add that to the long and continuously growing list of videos people think I should do. Um, I mean, most SIs can go over the top. It's just. It's not, it's kind of like a supercar video, right? I'm trying to, I'm, I'm basically doing like reviews on the Toyota Corolla because most people need to buy cars and they need to look, see reviews on cars that they can, they can get. But if it's a Koenigsegg video, I'll watch it and I'll enjoy it, but knowing that I'm never going to get it, right? So it could be enjoyable. That could be an enjoyable view, but, um, I think I'd rather have a system integrator send me a system that is over the top and show it that way. And I've talked to a couple that might want to do that at some point, and it could be really fun. 
But uh, that's the kind of thing where you want to see B-roll of the actual thing. Just looking at the website or using other people's footage, eh, it's kind of hard to make that happen. Is CLX a good company to get a gaming PC? Most of them are. Most Com most gaming, most PC companies, most system integrators are good companies to get them from. Is it the right one for you? I don't know. Uh, depends on what do you prioritize and do they ha share the same priorities as you? Um, there are, I mean, dozens and dozens of system integrators out there and one or another might be better suited to you. I don't know. I'm just going to pop this back into Twitch chat. Bam. Remember guys, if you need help, that's what that is right there. It pops up on its own now and then. Be sure to read them. Be sure to read that and click on it if you need help. And for those in YouTube chat, check the description if you're looking for help, if you're needing help, the form to help you find the right PC or parts list for your budget and needs is right there. We're gonna be getting started on that stuff here pretty soon. Why did it go to that email? I don't list that email anymore. That is so weird. Have they reached out to me before? Let me see. No, never, not on that email account. Maybe they got it and they were like waiting to send me something. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll send them a quick response. Maybe they had one of my business cards? How have they gotten it? See what happens. Okay. Hey, Natal, what's up? Welcome. Glad to see you. Just saying the song is epic. Sounds like something Dwight would rock out and karate kick to. After yesterday's video, just for fun, I checked PC on Amazon. I would have to say 97% of F SKUs. I don't know what Intel's doing. And I don't know what SIs are doing by including these so many times. You would think non f SKUs would be so much more useful for tro for remote troubleshooting GPU issues, but what do I know, right? I miss the days of computers coming without bloatware. I remember getting a Dell a long time ago and it was just straight up Windows. Now I dread when a family member gets one of those big brand PCs and I have to turn the fat out. 
in in some cases just like install a new windows operating system and buy a, a, a an oem key and just put that on there although they'll usually have a sticker with the with the key but like i don't know if they still do that i haven't gotten uh an oem system in so freaking long i have no idea what the practice is now ah hey now okay i hope you enjoy that spring break okay let's uh catch up with the youtube chat here Uh, Joyful Star was scheduled for these streams. Sun Tuesdays and Thursdays, every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Central, although I was 25 minutes late tonight. And on Sundays now over on Twitch only, I'm going to be doing gaming streams. But these streams are Tuesdays and Thursdays. What is bloatware? I'm new to PC building. It's any software that you don't want. It's software that is going to, it can slow down your system. It tries to sell you stuff. It'll be like a trial, a one month trial of like, some you know some antivirus software you don't need because windows defender is pretty much all you need these days uh stuff like that uh joyful star sending the submission i can't wait to hear suggestions from you um i i yeah absolutely and we're gonna be taking a look at those here soon although i do go in the order of when it was entered and we'll see who's here uh who was on the list before but so you don't always necessarily get help immediately in the first stream that you submitted your form but you can learn a lot from just hanging out that's what I've been told anyway. Sailor X, thanks you and Jace Two Cents. I have been able to help friends with PC questions. That's awesome. Welcome, Sailor. Uh, Brian A, at, talking to Matthew, is it possible you can try applications that control the RGB in your PC depending on your, okay. Well, if it was working before and it's no longer working now, it could be a loose connection. They came loose in shipping. Things like that happen, especially with RGB connectors. Uh, could be any number of things. But, yeah, we'll see. Uh, Gaming Illustrator. Bloatware is... Ah, there we go. Okay. So you're just explaining Bloatware. I appreciate that, Gaming Illustrator. Thank you. Uh, Base Player uh, 2011 IFY says, Bloatware is what it says on its face. Use the software that you never use and robs RAM and computing power. Yep. Considering game PC from CyberPower's Amazon pre-built lineup. Nope. Don't recommend Amazon. Um, if you if, if watch my content, especially if you watched the the Best Buy video that I did, la the one before this one yesterday, so the video before last, um, I don't recommend buying PCs from third party retailers. That advice is not going to get to everyone. It's not like the, those companies are going to shut down or whatever. They sell a million things other than PCs. One of the reasons I suggest going directly to the system integrator that you're interested in buying a PC from, i.e. in this case would be CyberPower PC and dealing with them directly. However, we've had some reporting back where their their customer service tech support is not nearly as good as, say, their other power competitor, iBuyPower. So uh, there are a lot of SIs out there. Just keep in mind the specs that you like, the price that you're trying to be at, and fill out a form, and I'll try to help you out. Uh, CP blocks flickering, and the fan lights will kick on and off, but everything else works. In Oh, so if it's just the lights, it's probably a loose RGB connector. That's probably what that is. But that's a guess. It's hard to be any, it's hard to be uh, uh, certain about stuff. You have to be on Twitch to get PC help or is YouTube, YouTube is just fine. If you look in the description, the link is right there to fill out the form, which I think you said you already did. So if you did that, then you were on the list just like everybody else. Rex Ramstad, welcome. Glad to have you here. Killer Alpaca Gaming, thanks for the info. I'm currently waiting on my first gaming PC ever and hope everything goes well. I have a, vi I have a video just for setting up your PC when it first arrives. Be sure to check that out. It's like, well, one thing about having a video do well is that every video you make after that for the next 10 videos is compared against it. And it's like, all right, enough already. Need to upload more videos. Uh, let's see. It'd be awesome to see you unbox an over-the-top PC. To me, like, I'll do I'll only do that with an SI that I've already unboxed a more accessible PC for. Because if I unbox a PC that very few people can actually afford, which is just the reality of it, right? And that's the only one I've done for that SI, everyone's gonna think that that's all you go to them for. So if like I'm I'm fairly certain I have one that is aesthetically really, really nice. So basically, guys, we have an unboxing coming up probably this Friday, or I might replace the Thursday stream with that, okay? The thing is, 
It's a mystery PC from Skytech. I don't know that much about it, and it's supposed to be something very special right off of their test bench that they don't even have on the site yet. This is the first one that they did all their testing with, and I don't know what it is. That's fun with Skytech because I have like seven different Skytech reviews already. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of the smaller SIs that can do really crazy stuff that have the, um, you know, the, the, the time per build based on their, their, um, based on their scale, like based on their frequency of sales. Like, what is it? Uh, you know what I mean? Anyway, based on that, uh, they can't send me multiple PCs. It's not part of like their, their, their quarterly plan is to just give away a computer to an, to, to a dude on the internet, uh, for smaller SIs, that's harder to do. They save those for partnerships and things like that, which when you send me a PC, I'm going to critique it. That's not a partnership. <laughs> uh, and I can't afford to buy dozens of PCs a year for review purposes. So either it's going to be set up where I send it back and you guys would be surprised. Certain companies that don't, that what you'll be surprised at which companies require me to send it back and which don't, which as you guys know very well, if you've been watching the channel for a while, that never affects whether or not I'm going to critique a PC into the dirt if it has a lot of problems. Like, doesn't matter if I get to keep it or whatever, because I don't take payment for those things. Otherwise, it's not a review. Um, but yeah, OK, the Charlotte, North Carolina, I'm guessing you're saying Micro Center, right? Are you talking about Micro Center? I'm pretty sure you don't mean that Charlotte, North Carolina is going to open on May 10th. Are they closed right now? That's crazy. Uh, oh boy, lots of stuff going on for the beginning of the stream. Love to see it. Uh, let's see, Braythorn. Well, kind of. You, um, Avishek kind of said my name there. Been watching your video for about six months now, and you do you have any SIs that do pre built for UK? Uh, PC specialist. Yes, we did a build with them the other day. The only thing I don't like is the default specs that they use. But they have, they had some pretty good hardware. We were able to get a pretty good build for someone in Europe through PC Specialist, but they are in the UK. Okay, I'm seeing now, uh, Avishek, that you said the same thing twice. Don't start spamming in here. I do interact a lot with chat, so I'll get around to you. Uh, Defiant, what's going on? I'm doing well tonight. Base player said checked on Alexander PCs recently, doing some more window shopping, and man, they have added a lot. If the owner is watching, all I have to say is, Daddy likey. I haven't I haven't looked in the last week, so I need to look. Appreciate you so much. Be checking out all these connections. Awesome. Okay. Can't wait for that unboxing. Yeah, so I don't think like I've already done an extra technically done an extra stream this week with Sunday. So like if I do tonight obviously I'm doing tonight. Then Thursday, PC Matchmaker, and then I stream again on Friday. Man, it's a lot of streaming, but like I should do it that way so people can continue to get help on Thursday instead of me replacing that stream. Unless I start it earlier and I do the unboxing and testing and then I help people out after. What do you guys think? Uh, if y'all saw my reaction to the newsletter I got, you would have laughed. I was jumping up and down, running through. <laughs> yeah, it's exciting. The Micro Center is the goat when it comes to the store. Their website sucks. It sucks a lot, but the stores are amazing. I was a trooper, waited the whole stream last time. Wood should be towards the top of the list tonight. Ready to join the PCMR. Okay, Earth Thunder. Awesome. There are some, I have some people come in sometimes. Like there was someone who came in a couple weeks ago who had entered their form in December. It just depends on, it really, it, it's, it's, it's like RNG. Who showed up? Are they uh, whatever? Like, is there a bunch ahead of you? I don't know. So we're going to do that here in a second. We're going to find that here in a minute. I used to live five minutes from Micro Center. I miss those days. Riley West, I've never lived that close to a Micro Center, and I would miss them too if I had lost them. You do any videos about monitor recommendations based on the PC types? No, actually, I do it the other way around. If you want a game at 1440p, I'll base the PC specs around that. Uh, if you want something like that, you can check out, um, although most systems should be able to run 
like a 1440p monitor, even if like a really budget system, if it's a really budget system, then go 1080p, that's easy. If it's mid-range, easy, 1440p. If it's really high end, you choose between 1440p or 4K, up to you. There you go, there's your video. Wouldn't hear any complaints about a longer stream from me. Only from me, I would be the one complaining. Sorry I'm late to the stream, Gaming Nightmares, I am later. I, well, I'm not later, but I was late to the stream. And that's the one that, I'm the one that apologized for. You don't need to. Monitors Unboxed is a really helpful channel for that stuff. That's right, I forgot about them starting that channel. Monitors Unboxed. Yeah, very good point. Showed your channel to my friends as well. And one just bought a PC from Alexander PC. Told them to check your channel, see if there was a Braithorn discount as well. It is Thorn, T-H-O-R-N, Thorn. Let me actually see if I, if, I don't think I changed it in the Discord. But Alexander PCs will apply the discount if you email them afterwards. By the way, I meant to use this discount code. Uh, let's see here. Coupon codes. It is not corrected. One second. Let me fix that real quick. I've been meaning to every time. Every time I, th I, I think about it, I've been meaning to fix that, and I don't. Give me a second. But yeah, if you... Uh, why isn't that working? Okay, hold on a second. Why isn't that showing up? Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. There we go. So, yeah, if you go to our Discord, here, let's go here. And we will do a quick little zoom in here. So, if you go to our Discord, uh, there is this channel called Coupon Codes. And it'll have, we have obviously a lot of coupon codes. I, I forgot I still have one with Zydax. I don't even know if it works anymore. It probably doesn't. But you'll see all the coupon codes here. By the way, the Brayothorn one, I need to edit that. It's just a, it, it, there's no date for it anymore, it just runs. It's just constantly there. And it's going to be working for custom systems soon, too. Uh, but anyways, this one's supposed to say Thorn, so I'm going to fix that really quick. Just letting you know. Okay, let me just do that. And it'll just take me a second. Uh, let's see. Where do we have those? Because Cuddles usually does them, but I forgot to ask him to do that one. Where does he have them? I'll give you all some music while I'm doing this. Let's start this one off from the beginning because the intro is sick. Download that one and edit on top of it. Here, I'll let y'all watch while I do that. Sure, why not? Now we're a, a Photoshop stream. That's what it is. And I'm just going to put a little... It's not going to look as nice, but I'll put a little... You know what I'll do? I'll do this. Check this out. Let's do this. Just to keep some of the texture there, I guess. Okay, get that. Filter. Blur. Gaussian blur. And let's crank it. Oh, it's not working. Hold on.
you know what? Here, let's just do this. Let's do what I said. We'll just put a rectangle over it. This is the kind of thing where it's like, I haven't really done the done things, things like this before. Let me do it, and then I'll like uh, figure it out. And then we'll just get some text. What are we in? Bab uh, Babus New Way. I'll do Babus New Way. Pro. I got a few fonts. Could go for something probably a little more epic, but we're just trying to do this quick. Okay, cool. There you go. That's that's it. Like, I'm not doing anything fancy. I was going to do something fancy. I was like, you know what? No. And let's turn the music down. There you go. I bet y'all were like, does he know the music is super loud? Maybe. All right, let me just save this real quick. Same place, and then we're good. I don't know why. I don't know why Photoshop is like this, but if you save your file, if Photoshop is the worst about like wanting you to save your file if you breathe wrong. It's just like, oh, you better save your file. So like I save it and then I go to export, which doesn't affect the file itself at all. And I'm like, cool, I exported it. And I go to close Photoshop. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, stop. You need to save your file. Like, uh, okay. All right. Jeez, Adobe. Let's calm ourselves down. Okay, I'm just drop it in there in the coupon code section and we'll be good to go. What we'll do after that is we're gonna get everyone who's on the list to let me know. And here's how you're gonna do it. Go ahead and do that as I'm doing this. If you're on the list, look at my name. Look at how it's spelled right here. You have no excuse. Sorry, it glitches sometimes, but type my name exactly as you see here, Braythorn. You don't need to use the font, just type it, spell it like that. And then space and then put, I'm on the list. Okay, on Twitch, chat, YouTube chat, doesn't matter. You don't need to put at before my name. Just type my name, space, I'm on the list. Okay, I'm gonna go through those, figure out who's here, and then we'll get started. Get rid of the old one. Okay, there we go. So th there's a coupon code section that's been updated. I need to update the iBuyPower one to say that there's no dates in there. But other than that, there you go. Forty-nine in chat, only seventeen likes. Anton, so observant as usual. I appreciate that. If you guys are in the YouTube chat, drop a like in there, especially if you're here to get some free help. What's not to like about that? Uh, replacing the stream or starting it earlier both work for me. I'm glad to know it. 
Uh, Mike992, Braithorn, how are you? I'm doing okay. Just trying to keep up with everything. Started late. I, I always feel frazzled when I start late. Anton, now that I found the Intel Xeon okay, is 10% weaker than the i5 11400H in my laptop, I'm saving up for the end of the year for a real upgrade. Nice. What's your favorite type of donut? I love glazed. Um, my favorite is the James type, I guess. The pump restyle donut. You know, it's good with some actual knowledge and gives you a chuckle. It's great. Ah, uh, you see, Jasmine the Bean. It's not Brarthorn. I said you have no excuse because it's right here. That's why I took the extra time to say that. It's one of those things, like in a class, a teacher does to make sure everyone's paying attention. Not that I would know. I would be a terrible teacher. I say it all the time because I absolutely mean it. Uh, Navimi, how's it going? What's going on here tonight? Me just yammering. Silent Fury says, hi, Braithorn. Brawthorn. All caps. Hi, Brawthorn. Okay. How are you doing? Uh, you know, just reeling over having my name misspelled two times in the last minute. Uh, do you have a discount for iBuyPower Power website? Yes, it is my name. But you have to spell it correctly when you go to the coupon code thing. Otherwise, it doesn't work. It works right now for Ready Systems. Anything over $1,000 gives you 50 bucks off. Anything over $2,000 gives you $100 off. There you go. For custom systems or easy builder systems, that code is, it's going to start working there. It just doesn't yet. They've been working on that for a while. Now, listen, Jasmine, I'm not a huge stickler here, but I'm going to need you to give it a shot because I believe you can do it. That's why I want you to try again. I believe in you. Don't look at Mike. Don't look what Mike typed. He's just typing out what I said phonetically earlier, phonetically earlier but no. Brothorn is not acceptable night, uh, nightly. Nighty. 9005. See? You misspell my name, I'll misspeak your name. Uh, Kanadi05. Uh, Here you go. Okay. You don't have to say it multiple times, Braxton, but thank you for reminding me that you used a different name. Uh, Bad Dub, hello. First time watching. Awesome. And first time chatting, too. I see that. Wake me up before you go-go. It's a good reference. Uh, Demondred, I have no idea where my Jane hat is since I cleaned up in here. I'm sorry. You know what? I'll grab this one. I got to borrow it from Peepo, though. He, he fell down. He's fine there. Don't worry. He likes it there. I don't like flat brim. I don't do it. But now I got the full look going on. How about that? I think I misbent it. So now I got the whole I got the whole donut vibe going on. Representing. What's up, James? Mo Mo Power, baby. <laughs> Code for Alexander PC. It's like we uh, well, we did just talk about that for a while. Yo, you did it, Jasmine! Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I forgot to fix something. Hold on a second. Now I can do this. You did it! Congratulations! That zoom is not as dramatic as it used to be. Okay, speed lines. Knock it off. Kali Sway, how's it going? Welcome, SSA. What's up? How's it going? Rabu says, nice. You should look like you should be driving a muscle car. That's the thing is, they actually got called out because they mostly do tuner cars. They don't do muscle cars. And it's true. Is Donut a secret code? No, it's just an awesome channel. I tend to buy merch from awesome channels. Uh, but yeah, Kahold Chung. We have a coupon code section of the Discord. If you go there, you will see that in there, it lists... Well, here, I'll show you. The code is... Thorn. It's like that part of the word right here, of my name. Thorn. I don't have... 
that showing there. There we go. That's going to be a little hard to read, isn't it? I wonder if I can do something about that. Well, it is if, I, if I'm just showing Discord like that. A little easier here. But I should have a little something behind it, right? Just to show the, the chat a little better. It sort of disappears, at least on the little windows I have for previews. Uh, but anyway, yeah. All right, you got it, Navimi. Thank you for coming by, saying hi. I do appreciate it. It's very friendly of you. Very nice of you. Downright kind. Got to start at a collage last week and it's going good. I was playing with the Titus tool. So my seven-year-old laptop doesn't run like butt. Well, I hope that's working out. Okay, so we have people who are on the list. I'll go in and start marking them. Uh, should I retype everything? No. It, well, yes, I guess I didn't say that quickly enough. Uh, Last of Motorsports says, Bray Thorne, Charlotte Micro Center opening for people who registered for early access is May 8th and 9th. Interesting. Yeah, I had, uh, had someone in, in Twitch chat that, that just uh, got the newsletter. So that's cool. Hello, I'm on both lives. Where you should watch. Well, I mean, you can watch whichever one you prefer. Here you're going to get on, on YouTube chat, or if you watch through YouTube, you're going to get 4K, but the lag is pretty bad. If you watch on Twitch, it's more current with what I'm actually doing and saying, uh, so I can interact with chat a little better, but it's also in 1080p instead. So if I'm trying to show your website with very small text when I'm showing you your PC or whatever, uh, your potential PC, then that could be a problem. So um, you can, but it helps me if you have both of them open and just mute the one that you don't really want to watch. So that's nice. Just learned that iBuyPower's custom PC builder is amazing. I recreated the PC I was looking at on Amazon, and it was cheaper with the same specs with better RAM. There you go. Direct through the SI. Now, Gaming Illustrator, do you know why that is? Amazon has to get a cut. They And margins on PC hardware are not great. So it has to come from somewhere. I'm not just like an elitist telling people not to buy from Amazon because I buy stuff from Amazon but not a whole computer. Like I wouldn't do that personally. It's like, don't really recommend it. I imagine for returning stuff, it's probably great. Like you just like, they're just like, sure, send it back, I guess. But I would rather get tech support and all that. Why are we typing Brea Thorn? I'm on the list for. Ghastly Gamer, this is going to shock you. It's for the list. The, the, the list for PC Matchmaker. That's that's what that's for. I mean, I I don't know what else to tell you. Here, I'll show you the list. There's a list. These are the people who are uh, on the list. Let me go to. Yeah, I need to have something in front of that. That is like illegible, impossible to read. Or maybe I need to put it up here, like I had during the speedrun stream. Which, by the way, for anyone who came by Twitch and watched me during speedrunning Metroid Dread, that was super fun. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. I have people tell me all the time that they, they ask me if I play games and say that they would come to a gaming stream, but not everybody actually does. I need to change these all back to... Okay, Earth Thunder, though, is here. So I'll remove... Well, whatever. I'll just redo these. Okay. Let me go back. So we had Brian. Uh, okay, so you're up here. I missed it. All right, there we go. Okay, so Earth Thunder, you're gonna be after Brian. As far as, and that's just how I go. I go through it, see who submitted first, and then we're gonna get into it, okay? So, but if you're second, you're definitely getting help during the stream, like no doubt. And I'm also going a little later. I'm going 25 minutes past midnight, or 30 minutes past midnight, because I started 25, 30 minutes late. Uh, but what's up, Org Chaos? I read your chat earlier and I didn't say hi to you. Hi, what's up? Welcome. Oh, you started college last week, okay. I mean, I didn't say collage or college, but still. I mean, hey, they'll teach you that in college, probably. So the spelling thing shouldn't be a problem for long. There you go. The camera zoom for emphasis. Always. 
Yeah, it would mean you get to go to the store early if you registered early for that. I just learned that I buy power is custom. Okay, I already read that. 5,600 or 6,000 megahertz. JJ Gonzo, what say you, what, what say I is, hi, hello, a greeting is good. Like saying hello to somebody, like a person. Because that's what I am, I'm, I'm a people, just like you. Instead of immediately demanding information. Blah, 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 blah. What say you? Whoa, whoa. I say, slow down. You're scaring me. Uh, the guy, Brady Thorne has a spreadsheet if you're looking for advice on pre-built. Uh, yeah, basically, for those of you who are curious, it's a certainty that you did not read the description of the YouTube stream because the first sentence is, if you're looking for help, click this link, fill out the form. It doesn't say it in those exact words, but that's what it is. Um, and that's how you get on this list to get help. One-on-one. -on -one, Free help, finding the right PC for your budget and or needs. So, yes, let me close this and we'll see who else is here. So, uh, let's see, uh, Kevin Sammons and Rachel Bennett and Jasmine DeBean. Okay, that's on YouTube. Now, Kevin, this is green. This right here is green. That means that uh, I've already recommended a PC to you. And this was in on February 15th, or at least that's when you submitted your form. Please explain. What's going on there? Because it looks like you didn't like it and you came back for more help. Not really something I usually allow, actually. Nerdy Nadia, welcome. How's it going? How do I buy a 3000 PC in payments with crappy credit? Skytech won't let me. Well, the key term there was crappy credit. You need to pay for your stuff or else no one will trust that you're going to pay for your stuff. Uh, Compa, that's, that's credit. You could, I guess you could try doing a if you, it, I don't know if they accept PayPal there at Skytech, but I, I imagine some SIs do, and PayPal does pay in four. You could try that, but then you have to make four pretty big payments. So, if you can ask me the same question about buying a car if you want, it would be the same answer. That is not unique to PCs. Uh, the Gaming Illustrator, my current setup is rocking an eight year old laptop, literally held together with tape. Everything I need is in my I buy power cart for just under 3K. If that makes sense to you, then go for it. Hi, Braythorn, just hanging out. Well, thanks for coming to hang out, Dark Force. Appreciate it. Uh, Craigham says that speedrun night was tons of fun. It was. It really, really was. And it was really special to me because I hadn't done a gaming stream in so long. So for those of you who heard me say it, like, hey, gaming stream on Sunday, and you were like, I'm going to be there. Like, that means a lot to me. Thank you. Seriously. And also, even if you didn't know ahead of time and you, you had your notifications turned on on Twitch, it would have said right there, yo, Braythorn's going to speedrun Metroid Dread. You should check it out. So I appreciate y'all if you have your notifications on. Like that helps too. I'm a returning student that didn't help me with spelling. I'm too bad at that for them to help me. I mean, it's too far gone, huh? Okay, let's keep going. And Kevin, I'm, uh, I changed my budget and have a what do you think thing. Okay, Kevin, we're going to help people I haven't helped yet, though, instead. Okay? Wow. Let's go ahead and do that. Yo, Dan, thanks for the prime sub, my friend. Look at that, 19 months. Crazy. If we have extra time, Kevin, and no one else is here for help, you got to remember, there. This everyone in white are people that have not gotten help yet. They got to take priority, okay? Um, so if there's no one looking for any more help by the time I end the stream, I'll take a look at what you, the, the, at your, what do you think thing? Uh, but for right now, we're, we're, we're it's, it does, it's not really part of the plan to do that. You know what I mean? That's not really part of what we do. Uh, just because you changed your mind. 
Uh, especially considering that was February 15th, right? And for yours, uh, here we go. Yeah, it, it, you said you'd be buying it within a month and we have passed that threshold. So yeah, I don't know. Don't know what to tell you. Do not know what uh, for to tell you. Let's see who else is here. Jasmine, the bean. There it is. All righty. I'm sure you can understand though, Kevin. It's, uh, it's one of those things where my time is like a, it, it's a, um, it, it's a rare commodity, I guess you could say. Everyone's is when you think about it. But, uh, so Braxton, where's Braxton? Uh, Braxton, you are under Neil Gardner, right? Neil, okay. Wait, but like neither of these match your Twitch handle. What the heck? Do I need to go over all that stuff? Because you told me that you were on YouTube. But I don't know what your YouTube handle would have been. So I'll give you a pass. But you're on thin ice. JDC FTW, thank you. Welcome to the Swarmies. Thank you. Thank you for the membership. I appreciate it. Excuse me for seeing your live stream on my YouTube and knowing nothing about you, just checking out the live stream and was curious about what they were typing that for and subscribe to ask a question. All good. When I do something like this and I say something wry, it's not because I'm unfriendly, but quite the opposite. If that makes that clear. I, I'm, I wasn't angry or anything that you ask a question. You can ask all the questions you want. It's all good. Okay, so... Is that everybody? Did I miss something? Uh, Braxton, oh, they did that twice. Okay, Brian, gotcha, right? Uh, so Brian first, Earth Thunder second. Uh, let's see. Rachel, I didn't, I didn't look for Rachel yet. Where's Rachel? Rachel Bennett, there you go. Now this doesn't match what your name shows in chat, but it's okay. It's all right, I'll, I'll accept that. That can be weird with YouTube. I know that. It, it is weird with YouTube. It's okay, all right? Believe it or not, guys, I'm not especially feeling especially ranty tonight. That's a lot of energy I put into that, you know? A lot of energy goes into that. Otherwise, it wouldn't be entertaining, right? All right, Swarm, let's get into this. So, Brian, you're coming up first. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I was just going to like say, are you ready? But I realized that would be a lot more dramatic if I did it that way. Okay. No, stop doing that. It's because like my hotkeys, I hate this. I hate this thing with hotkeys. It's really annoying, but whatever. It is whatever. Okay. So Brian, looks like you're going to be ordering within a week. Very cool. So this is very pertinent information for you. No micro center nearby. Here's one detail. It states your budget at 4,000 or more. So what is the or more? What is the maximum budget? Not including taxes, shipping, monitor, peripherals, stuff like that. The budget for the PC, maximum. No changing it later. No changing it later on. And I'm not saying that, Kevin, because of you. I'm say, I say that all the time because it changes the build if you change your, your mind on your budget 20 minutes in. Yes, absolutely. Did my whisper go through? Uh, no. Nope. It did not. Let's go, Dungeon Master. Heck yeah. I wish we were playing D&D right now. I, I do look like a Dungeon Master here with all this information, don't I? Here, click my name. Try to whisper again. There you go. 
Love the vid on exotic PC. I sent the info for my son's PC, and yes, very sad, but I had no idea what I was doing and looking for. Did you send me that email? By the way, you sent you sent me the uh, email to my uh, business email that's listed on YouTube. New username 007. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Yeah, you're an angel. But dub one, thank you. I don't agree, but well, I'm gonna talk to you separately there. I'm gonna respond to you there on that. Uh, it's just I had I was preparing for stream and stuff. I had to do all that, so I hadn't responded to you yet. I'm not really good at, at, at doing that, unfortunately, but thank you for reaching out and uh, I'll get you caught up there instead of doing one of these. Favorite ice cream flavor, dark chocolate. And Dan, thank you again for 19 months subscribed. I appreciate you. Hey, Braithorn, where do you get your tunes from again? The uncopyright, it's uh, backingtrack.gg. They actually have a lot of rock and metal. I, I mostly stick to the synth rock stuff uh, and now the chip rock that they do, but they have a lot of, uh, a lot of like straight up like metal stuff, rock stuff for first person shooters, things like that. So there's our whisper. There we go. Okay. Are you saying, Brian, that you already have those monitors? Okay. Well, I mean, 5,500, you can do basically whatever you want with that. Um, but we will probably want to go with one where we can choose like your motherboard and stuff because you're going to need a lot of output. You're going to need a lot of, uh, uh, IO basically a lot of USB ports, stuff like that. Um, so escape from Tarkov, Unreal 5, uh, just 3D games, racing simulators, uh, some with VR. Okay. Let's look at the rest of your form here, but we're going to change this to 5,500. There we go. Don't live near Micro Center, no problem. You do want it pre-built. We're not doing a parts list. You want it within a month, meaning we can go fully custom. Gaming and coding slash game design. So that's what you meant by Unreal 5. You're going to be using Unreal 5. So you're going to need some good... Um, I mean, I imagine they do that, you know, you got, I, I actually downloaded Unreal 5 to mess with it and I haven't yet. I was wanting to see how I could apply it for things like animations, uh, intros, things like that. Um, and I don't, it's like, where do you even start? It's crazy. But you want it in black. You don't care about upgrading the CPU over time. So that could be an Intel PC if that's the case. However, Zen 4, like the 75, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 7950X does really well with Blender. I'm not sure how it does in uh, in regards to Unreal 5 in comparison to Intel. But uh, yeah, no, we can do something really good for that. Let's see. What about aesthetics? Let me ask you this. How much do you care about stuff like RGB? Uh, visible stuff in the case, being able to see everything really nicely, a bunch of glass, that kind of stuff. And there's no wrong answer, by the way. You can say, I love that stuff. Wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. How did I do that? <sighs> I hate this. I hate when I do that. Sorry, Earth Thunder, that's yours. We'll get to yours. Let's change this to... Uh... No, that's, I can't read that. If I'm working on something, it'll be a darker purple. There we go. I can read that. There we go. Ah, oh, man. If y'all were like freaking out in chat, do not worry. I figured it out eventually. Okay. So you do care about upgrading your CPU over time. Yeah, see, this is why that's important for me to look at that. 
gaming, racing sim, flight sim. So you're not making games. Cool. That's a big difference. You're going to order it within a week. That's probably, I was looking at the right one when I said that. And you're looking for it to arrive within a month. Same thing, fully custom options. Okay. No, um, no SI in mind. So there's no system integrator you have in mind. All good. And you don't need Wi-Fi that you're going to get Wi-Fi. It's $5,500 system. That motherboard's going to have Wi-Fi guaranteed. Hey, Bray, can I ask a question before you get started on the PC help? If you don't mind, did you just send that? Because I'm doing it like we're doing this. You can always ask a question. I, you know, I'll maybe answer it. I don't know. It depends. Definitely new here, but I would go. How would I go about conversating if I didn't? Mention, I am on the list. You did not mention. Uh, guys, if you're on the list and you come in and I'm already working on some of these, I've already done the thing where I ask for who's on the list. So you do need to let me know off the, off the bat, but you did. So you're good. Uh, but yeah, there you are. You're on the list and there you go. Uh, we'll see how many I can get done tonight. I have done somewhere. I've done six or seven in one night, but I started late, meaning I'm going a little bit late. We'll see how this goes. So 5,500. Let's say... If you do care about getting, um, actually, I'm curious. Let me see if they've done this yet because it's been a couple of weeks since they were supposed to. Is it still just the Intel configurator tool? We're still not doing AMD here. TJ. TJ. Well, let's look at pre-configured. These are all supposed to get AMD versions. So we can also look at their uh, ready to ship as well. The Legatus AMD. There you go. And 4090. It's a little over budget with a 4090 though. That's going with Alexander PCs. Uh, I see you wanted to point out that I uh, was looking at the wrong person. Thank you. I'm, opposed to, I'm a, not opposed to not upgrading my CPU. I know I selected that, but I wasn't aware of the AMD lock when I selected it three streams ago. That's something that I usually explain when I get to that point. It's, uh, well, it's not AMD's fault. It's Intel's fault. It's Intel's fault for deciding that they're not going to support a socket for more than two or three generations. Whereas AMD will offer years and years of support for a single platform, single socket, Intel is not interested in that because they rightfully believe that a lot of people aren't going to be upgrading if they just get a new motherboard and CPU and RAM and stuff or whatever. They're right about that. A lot of people go for five, six years, seven years with a PC, and they're not interested in upgrading that six, seven-year-old PC. They want to get a new one. I get that. But I'm trying to encourage people to not be wasteful and consider upgrading their CPU because it can make a massive difference. Upgrading your CPU and GPU, that can make all the difference in the world when it comes to your system and how well it's keeping up with modern programs and games. Yeah, if you bring your own case to Micro Center, they'll build in it for you. Yes, they won't warranty the case though. Okay, but yeah, no, you're you're good. Um, so if if we put you on Intel, it'll be very basically. Here's the here's the rule. Okay, don't obsess over what's coming out unless it's just a couple months from now. Then you can obsess over it a little bit. Other than that, you will drive yourself crazy if you think about that too much. Just build the best PC you can right now, and it's going to last you for years, as long as you build it to your, to your budget and specifications. So that's the motherboard layout right here for if you go with AMD on this system, but it does make it 5698. So that's why I was thinking of doing their configurator. A lot of people like Alexander PCs because they have a lifetime warranty and they do they do they will bend over backwards to stand behind it. Like they 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 mean it when they say that. Um but this system with the default specs it comes with, it just puts it at 5698. There's certain things in here that cause that to happen, including stuff like this screen back here. You don't need this screen back here, but they do that because it's awesome, right? Um yeah. So if we do their configurator, though, we are locked into Intel, not AMD. 
meaning that you would not have the option to take this $5,500 system or 5,000 or whatever it comes out to and upgrade it down the line and get a multi-generational uplift in performance for your CPU. The 7900X worked fine for me in Unreal Engine 5, but I'm no expert. I don't know, you do have custom PC and service in your name there. So that I'm no expert thing got me a little worried there. Are you sure about that Northern Lights? I mean, I didn't put that there. <laughs> Joyful Star, I'm on the list. Uh, did it, okay. Cool. For those of you who are here, like down here, that means you just joined. The odds of y'all getting help in the very first stream where you joined, not always good, but we'll see, you know, it depends. If a bunch, the, the thing is, if people come in later in the stream and they're like up here, I am obligated to help them out first. So even if like Earth Thunder, you are second right now, but if like three people come in from right here, it's annoying, but like that's, it's annoying for you, but that's, I got to help them out. But unless I just started helping you, you know, but anyways, that's why I need to get back to this and, and try to try to get through this. But the default specs that come with this are very good. 1300 watt, 80 plus platinum rated. By the way, shipping is included in this, uh, Brian. Shipping is included. So if you were looking at shipping and being like, well, let's go from 6,000 down to 5,500, don't worry about it. Shipping is included with this price tag and so is a lifetime warranty. So you can get the, uh, let's see what comes with this. It is gonna be for CPU a 7950X3D, okay? And uh, the CPU cooler is just defaulted to the ASUS ROG Ryujin 3. Now, one thing, if you like the O11 Evo, awesome. If you want a different case, you can tell them. It can adjust the price, but you can tell them if you want a different case. Um, let's see here. It does come with a screen mod, which is pretty cool. It's awesome. Put motion graphics on there. You can put tele telemetry on there, your info for your system, stuff like that, temperatures. Uh, let's see, Unifan SL Infinities for the fans. Um, let's see, it's the O11 Evo RGB actually, which is a different case than the one in the picture. And it is a nicer looking case. It doesn't have this bar on the side here. Let's see if they have an updated picture here somewhere. I'm not trying to select everything. Yeah, they don't have an updated picture, but the O11 RGB, the O11 Evo RGB is nicer looking. For sake of argument, if I'm dropping 5K+, plus, perhaps it would be being, being my benefit to go AMD up for all. It gives a better longevity to the system. I'm thinking the 9000 series or whatever the heck they call them that they are announcing in a, in a couple of months over at AMD that are going to fit into this motherboard. I'm thinking they're going to have things like better RAM compatibility, um... Fa you know, faster, you know, higher, higher frequencies, things like that. Maybe they're going to go the, the eco mode instead. But I mean, look at this IO. It's a ton of IO on this. So you're not going to be hurting for any IO for your VR setup, for your SIM rig setup, any of that. You even have display port through USB type C, uh, uh, USB four type C right there. Uh, but you want to generally go from your GPU. It's going to depend on whether that goes in from the GPU into that. It's going to depend on, depend on how all that works. But uh, yeah, I typically run like I, I use a Quest 3 and I just run that over here at Type-C from my PC and, and the GPU does all the work anyway. So you're good. Uh, let's see. They ignore the GPU because it says RX 7900 XTX. We selected the 4090. You're getting a two terabyte Kingston Fury Renegade M.2. At checkout, you can choose more storage if you want, but two terabytes should do everything you need. Uh, 64 gigs of Kingston Fury RGB DDR5 6000. The motherboard you're getting is the Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Hero. It will have the latest BIOS. It should not fry your CPU. <laughs> they fixed that months ago. Thanks, Asus. Like, everyone's like, when it comes to certain things, everyone sort of like gives all the credit to ASUS for things like that. But every company can have issues. Whether they fix it or not is what matters. And they did try to pass the buck for a little bit back to AMD, but they did fix it. And it's not doing that anymore. And it didn't happen to everybody. It happened to like a few people, which was already crazy enough, but still. Anyway, this is just a great, 
easy option for you if you want to go with this. And it's going to be in a an even nicer looking case than this. Here, let me see here. This, make sure. Okay. This is the O11 Evo RGB. As you can see, they got rid of the support right there. It now gets support with the way it connects to the glass. It's much sleeker looking. You have the RGB strip at the bottom and the top. It is, I think, a huge aesthetic upgrade over the O11 Evo, while also not being a huge aesthetic upgrade, which is weird because I just said that. Can you play a song from another metal pack from Backing Track? Just curious. You can do it by going to backingtrack.gg. I'm kind of in the middle of something here. <laughs> I am helping somebody. Uh, and I'm not really going to go and like go looking for their stuff or looking through the music I've downloaded right now. I tend to have a playlist and I stick to it because it's just, uh, I actually am so familiar with the playlist. I kind of know how long I've been streaming based on what track we're on. It's that kind of familiarity that I like. But yeah, that's why I give the resources. Here you go. Actually, I didn't put it in Twitch chat. My bad. Hey, now one second. There you go. Love the back panel configuration on the product creator Wi-Fi. It's what attracted me to the motherboard when I first put it together. It's not what's in here, right? There's a crosshair. Yeah. Um, I'm just upset. Let me actually see what they did here because I'm curious. Yeah. These are not cheap motherboards. I have no idea why they don't put 10 gigabit Ethernet in these. It's crazy to me. Because the, the ProArt does have 10 gigabit. And that's a cheaper motherboard. But 2.5 gig is more than enough for almost everybody anyway. So, yeah. Crash, what's going on, buddy? Had to pop and say, hey, won't be able to stay very long right now, but I hope I can get back in a few minutes. All right. Hey, no problem. We'll be here. Take care. Hey, just a question if you don't have time. While thinking you might upgrade down the line with AM5, should you go with X670 or B650? You you, you already know what I'm going to say. You already, you already know the whole use cases thing. That, then you're good. I know. I I, I understand. I was, I was making a... Uh, a joke about the specific word choice. That's all. I don't know everything about Un I literally was like, I know it's good in Blender. I don't know about Unreal Engine 5. I'm always upfront with, about what I don't know. Uh, but yeah, if it's for just gaming, B650 is all you need. If you want to do more, X670 can be very beneficial and you can get them at a pretty decent price these days, depending on what level of motherboard you're getting power delivery and io and all kinds of stuff like that but yeah this is what i would do right here should i worry about cpu and gpu liquid cooling for the lowest temps if you're doing that if uh brian if you want that you need to raise your budget by probably one or two thousand dollars like a thousand bucks two thousand bucks something like that unless you go specifically with uh ek fluid gaming who just they can do it cheaper but generally no because the CPU, the 7900X X3D cannot allow itself to get extremely high temperatures because of the 3DV cache and the thermal sensitivity there. It'll take care of itself and they're putting a really good cooler in here. So you're fine. Plus you have direct fan, fans blowing directly at the, 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 the cooling solution on the GPU. So the temps, that's why people like dual chamber cases that have fans on the bottom for intake. They feed fresh air right into the GPU. You should be fine. Uh, when it comes to uh, custom liquid cooling, it is largely superfluous at this point. It doesn't help a ton, but it can help somewhat with longevity. Here's the thing, though. If you do a custom loop, unless you use soft tubing, you're going to want help upgrading that CPU. You're going to want to like send it back or something because then you have to drain the loop. You have to do all that stuff, and it's kind of annoying. But be sure to go in here and choose the AMD chipset here, CPU and chipset and then choose the 4090 um, because the link I sent you won't necessarily do that. Also use code THORN. Uh, to get 50 bucks off, because even at a budget of 5,500, 50 bucks off is nice. 
And I did say that this is above budget, but you were accounting for uh, shipping when you said to lower it to 5,500 instead of 6,000. Shipping is included. I'd say this then qualifies. Anyway, let me... I gotta like back out. There we go, go in. No, I didn't mean to do that because that's when it messes with the, the link. There we go. I'm gonna send you a clean link here where it's just the, to the Legatus so you can make those changes yourself. There you go. And just change it to AMD and the 4090 and you're golden. There we go. I'm gonna add this in down here. And we're good. All right, Earth Thunder, it's your turn. All good, Brian? I know I had to rebuild the Apex PC I got with hard tubing and it was a pain to drain, fill, fit everything right. Oh yeah, right. Forgot about the Apex thing. I, I will honestly be curious to take a look at that thing. I want to see what kind of job they do on custom loops. Samantha One, hello right back to you. Sorry if I missed some of y'all's chats on YouTube for a little while. Sorry about that. Oh, the back panel configuration on the... Okay, we saw that. Uh, it took me four times of reopening iBuyPower's website to remember to bookmark my cart so I can come back to it. Four times I closed out of it without bookmarking. Uh, you can also just email yourself in a URL of your build. If you go to share to like look... If you go to summary... You can then save it by just uh, getting that whole URL that it puts on the page there. Um, I've done it a few times, but. And Earth Thunder is there. Awesome. Draxis, what's going on? How are you? Welcome. What's up, Toaster? How are you doing? Welcome. Uh, well, I've, I do have your notes right here. I'm going to go by that. Uh, but you did up, up your budget to 5K, which is fine because this is 4,000 or more. That does leave a lot of information out or a lot of options out for budgets, but yeah. Okay, so you stated you wanted to be easily upgradable, but in the questionnaire, you said no. On the question, do you plan on upgrading your CPU over time? You said no. So which is it? We'll want to get 5090 when it becomes available. My main goal is to play games at 4K, yeah, I see that right here. Uh, right here. There you go. Also, I saw coding. Are you going to tell me about that? Main focus is performance. Interested in meta PCs because I live by them. Well, that's it. That's it. That's the option then. We go with meta PCs. Because like that is gold. If you live close to an SI and you can do like, um, you know, just uh, um, do will call and just go pick it up. That is so much better than trusted like everyone gets pc shipped like that's part of this industry but if you can avoid it you should which is the main reason i ask about micro center as a matter of fact it's not like i enjoy being on their website because i don't but okay um meta pcs it is budget five grand you want to be able to upgrade it forgot the coding part all good that's why we have this. Like, you don't have to do the whole paragraph. Other than a few little updates like your budget, um, you you put the information here. 4K? I'm not going to set you up with a system that can barely do 4K. If you give me a resolution, I try to reach for the stars when it comes to achieving that resolution in a way that's very usable. That's the goal. Um, but you said no to upgrading your CPU, and you said in the paragraph that you want it to be easily upgradable. So, again... I'm very confused. Uh, it was a custom build. Anyway, thanks again for the help. I'll hop back in chat so you can help. You got it. You got it, Brian. Define, if you want to do, tr like, if you want to do official posture checks, you could go over to Twitch chat. There, they, you, you knew that with channel points. But yes, my posture is there, and it's it's fine. Is a chat for the Legatus, is that is that the default screen mod, or is it something else? It's the default. Yes. Steven Anderson says B650. 
That's it. That's the sentence. I tried to explain that to a customer, but sometimes you just can't win. I'm not sure what I was saying at the time, but I probably agree. Probably. This computer has a 5800X 3D and a 7800 XT and a B5. Steven, why are you telling me this? What's going on? What's happening, Steven Anderson? What is what is happening? Samantha One, having a hard time deciding from Intel AMD. That's that's my job. If you answer the if you, uh, Samantha, if you click on the link in the description, fill out that form, I can help you with that. Um, and you can also hear me describe it to other people because, like right here, it says there's a question on the form. Okay. It says, do you plan on upgrading your CPU over time? If you answer no to that, you can go either Intel or AMD, whichever is better for your use case. If you answer yes to that, I'm going to suggest AMD 100%. Intel, once their new generation of CPUs comes out, no longer going to be working with LGA 1700, the current platform, the current socket. It's not going to be compatible. You cannot upgrade the CPU by itself. You have to get new motherboard. If you got a DDR4 RAM kit, because you got a DDR4 motherboard for your 12th, 13th, or 14th gen Intel, you're going to have to upgrade your RAM too. So right now is a time where AMD is the path that allows for more upgradability. Sometimes that's Intel. Sometimes it's AMD. It's not a fanboy thing either way. It's uh, It comes down to your priority, pr priorities. If you prioritize being able to upgrade it, then you do. And then that will let me know. I just want to upgrade the GPU. If an i9-14900K, 14900K, can, will handle that, then I can live with that. At, at 4K, for 4K gaming, you could run an i5-14600K. And it would be nearly indistinguishable from an i9. Uh, for AAA titles, I mean, okay? Um, because the fact that you want to run games to play games at 4k 240 hertz okay that doesn't mean you're going to be able to uh, without some dlss wizardry right and something like an i5 14600k 14700k they're very powerful cpus like insanely powerful and when you go up in resolution you're taking the workload away from the cpu and putting it more and more on the gpu okay so you don't have to have an i9 to game in 4k in fact, you're taking like you're you're dedicating more wattage to your CPU. You're putting out more heat from your CPU than is absolutely necessary. The problem is you want to do coding and game design, right? So what did you mean by coding and game design? Do you mean just writing code or do you mean designing games? What are we talking about here? Steven Camacho, wish a little closer to the Micro Center. The one that was about two hours away closed down. That sucks. I did not hear about one closing down. Oh, I thought you meant you forgot the coding part. Are you giving up on your coding and game design dreams right in front of me? That is that is very sad. I don't like that. <laughs> but all right, I guess I'll just ignore it for now. But uh, so you entered coding and game design, but you want me to forget that. You want it to be easily upgradable, but not the CPU. I think I'm catching on here. I get it. Okay. Uh, all right. And we're going meta PCs. Okay. I think I've got all the information I need. Let's jump into it. Let's do a custom one because you stated here that you can wait uh, up to a month to get your PC more or less. So that means you want something custom or you can go with something custom. Very cool. Let's do that. I do like their configurator at Meta. It is pretty nice. I feel like it could use some optimization though, because it does stutter sometimes. Like it kind of freaks out a little bit. But other than that, uh, you said you don't care about the looks. You just want performance. Sounds fine to me. Uh, they do go for a lot of aesthetically pleasing cases regardless. Sorry about that. See this, this is what I mean by optimizing it. Like this loads very slowly. I code, but not GPU intensive stuff. No, I'm thinking CPU intensive stuff. That's why I'm like, that's the thing about coding is that you want CPU cores. 
So that means you might want an i9 or at least an i7. Keep this in mind. You know what the difference is between a 14th gen i7 and a 14th gen i9? Four efficiency cores and a lot of power and heat. That's it. So the 14900K is going to use a lot more power, but it only has four extra efficiency cores over the 14700K, which got a boost of its own of four efficiency cores from the last generation. That was a 16 core processor before, eight performance cores, eight efficiency cores. Now the i7 is eight performance cores, 12 efficiency cores. So it is very close to the i9 for a couple hundred bucks less, and it puts out less heat and uses less, less, less power. I think the champ of the current Intel lineup is not the i9. I think it's the i7. So you're going pure performance, Fantex G500A all day long. There you go. It's already selected. We're good. It is a nicely sized case. It's not small. Okay. It can fit extra drives, stuff like that. You get into anything like where you want more storage, whatever. You're good there. So it is a really nice case. Great aesthetics, but not over the top. So that's the choice for you, I think. Now they do say extended lead times on 4090s, and I don't know what they mean there. Looks like they upgraded the power supply by default. That's nice. What you can do is I'll do this build for you. And then you could just go over there, knock on the door and be like, what do you mean lead times? How long am I have to wait for this thing? Also, we do have a coupon code here. So that is also nice. So my suggestion for your CPU would be the 14700K. Oh, my bad. Thank you, Toaster. Appreciate you. I was zoomed in. I shouldn't have been zoomed in. Crash loves the Fantex cases. Yeah, me too. I have I got the P500A right before the G500A came out, and I'm really sad about that. But it's very minor differences. I called Meta earlier in the week. They told me to look at the Gandalf build. On the website, it's under products slash Gandalf. I mean, we have to, don't we? I'm telling y'all, I know this playlist and I love this playlist. Custom P. Okay, so it was under products. Products? Where does it say products? Maybe it's under ready to ship PCs? It's probably one that's already done. Random question here. Hi, B. Bursley. Hello. Welcome to my stream. Greetings. Is 240 hertz worth it for gaming? 1440p, if I can push that FPS. I... Can, you mean, like, can you tell a difference? Yeah, you can. Is that worth it? You tell me. Is that worth it for you? Is it within budget? Is that something that you want? Is there a monitor that has 144 or 165 hertz that's going to be like OLED and more in your and also and still be in your price range? Because I would say OLED is awesome. Like the visuals are way better. But if you're playing competitively, extra frames can help. If you're not playing competitively, it probably doesn't matter. I see Arthur. Where is Gandalf? This is sick for 4299. I mean, a 4070 Ti though. That this is what I'm talking about when I say add a thousand or two thousand dollars if you want hardline liquid cooling. Because there you go, 6199, 14900 KF and 4090. That's what I'm talking about. It is expensive to get liquid cooling like that. Well, yeah, I see an Arthur, but I don't see. Gandalf. Gandalf. Custom PCs. All desktops, maybe. If they said to look under products, they should probably make that category. Okay. You know what I see when you try to post links in my chat? I see this.
I see that. Because you're not allowed to post links in chat. Uh, because my channel, by default, because by virtue of the content that I do, brings in a lot of people who are new to PCs, new to tech, new to some of this stuff, you know. Uh, I don't allow links being posted because people might click on stuff and end up in trouble or something. So, yeah. There is a blood moon, Bray. Uh, yeah, I did see that one. Uh, 40, I don't know if liquid cooling of 4070 Ti is really worth that, though. You know what I mean? If you want to send me a link, you need to, you need to whisper it to me. <laughs> Thank you for greeting me, B. Bursley. I do appreciate it. But when it comes to whether something is worth it, that answer should never lie with somebody else. Is it noticeable? Yeah. 80 FPS or so? Yes, is noticeable. But also, you need a heck of a system to run 1440p 240 hertz in some games unless you're heavily relying upon DLSS and stuff. Merry time zones, strangers. Is that what that is? Wait, what? What do you mean time zones? We don't have... We don't have daylight savings again, do we? We just did that. Well, other than being aesthetically the exact opposite of what you wanted, because this is all, this is like very aesthetic. It's also not black, it's white, but it has 14900K and a 4090, 64 gigs of RAM, right? Uh, 1000 watts though, for a 14900K and a 4090, I would probably have gone a, get given a little bit more cushion room, depending on if you're running a, if you put your CPU and GPU under load for some kind of workload that's kind of crazy. Or you like to multitask it you know you're starting to get up to that 1000 watts easily but not easily but it's likely i would probably would have gone with 1200 watts on there at least but other than that's great build i also don't see gandalf here there's no art of gandalf or anything so it's sick it's a sick build nv5 is a really nice looking case not the one i would have suggested for you considering you wanted it in black and you care more about performance but it pains me when people look at a 4070 and find it low quality when my laptop is using a 2070 that's eight years old uh, gaming illustrator understand what i mean when i say that okay when i say i'm not sure it's worth it for the 4070 ti i did not say it's low quality what i mean is i don't know if it's worth doing this to it liquid cooling it i don't know if it's worth the liquid cooling That's that GPU block is probably nearly half the price of the entire GPU. Not to mention fittings, the distro plate, all of that stuff could go towards a higher end GPU. It's when you get to the upper edge of performance parts, that's when it starts to become a little bit more uh, reasonable to, to do custom liquid cooling because of the cost of these components. It's very high. And then the labor to do it all of that money could be going towards just getting a higher end GPU. Not that most people need something like a, you know, a 4090 or 4080 Super, but, and that's not me saying, don't buy 4070 Ti's guys, they suck. No, I'm not saying that. Okay, I keep forgetting. I need to put a timer on that when I zoom in. But I'm saying this, like all of this stuff is, I, I don't feel like this is necessary for a 4070 Ti. Also, I mean, yeah, it's about, about right with an i7. I'm just saying that. I'm not saying 4070 Ti sucks. I'm just saying like, I wouldn't do this to it. We good? I remember you commented on Toasty Bros not worth ordering on your last stream. When did I say this? Give me a timestamp. I don't remember saying this. What are you talking about? And thank you, thank you, Defiant. I appreciate that. I, I tend to stay zoomed in, unfortunately. You have any experience with meta PCs? Yes. No, and it's not that I don't have anything bad to say about them. I have great things to say about them. They're amazing people. If this is the one that you want, go for it. Sure. And let's find out. I'm curious. Well, I can't add it to cart. 
but I wanted to see what my discount code would get you. Um, but no, this is a sick build. It's absolutely awesome. Not what I would have envisioned with your choices here. But then again, you've changed a lot of them on me. So I don't know. Uh, you're fine. Go for it. This isn't going to make sense to anybody who goes and clicks on that link, but all right. But yes, I have a code there. It's Brayathorn. That could even take a discount off the price that they have listed there. And at that price point, it should be substantial. It should be a really nice discount. There you go. Is there a problem running a 4K monitor and 1080p a secondary on a... Oh, thanks for the Prime sub. I appreciate it, Earth Thunder. Thank you. Before I was getting considering getting the Streamer Plus PC from Toasty Bros. That is one, one thing. Uh, so I did a video where I talked about content creators who are also system integrators. And what I took issue with with Toasty Bros, for basically each of the ones that I covered, Zach's Tech Turf, Toasty Bros, um, uh, what is it? Um, uh, Gamer Tech Toronto, I think is what they are. Each one of them I had some, uh, some constructive criticism for. For Toasty Bros, it was the fact that they put streamer PC on something that really was not equipped for streaming. Not to the level I would hope for. Um, there were some decisions they made that I didn't really like. I, I think maybe they used a Radeon GPU, like five or 6,000 series Radeon GPU, and that was just not great for streaming. And like, just different things like that. If you put a label like that, I'm gonna take it seriously and I will, I will critique that build with that use case in mind, because that's what you're advertising. Maybe I heard wrong and you were meaning the Toasty Bros were a good example in contrast of some other builders. What I was saying was, and if I'm, it, this was like half a week ago, so it's hard to say, unless you're talking about the Sunday stream, but that was only on Twitch. It wasn't here. That was a gaming stream on Sunday on Twitch. But I'm saying for anyone who's looking for a PC for like 750 or less, check out Zach's Tech Turf, Toasty Bros, um, check out uh, Nerd on a Budget, Oz Talks Hardware, channels like that and they will show you builds you can do. And also, Jay even did a video on buying a used pre-built for around 500 bucks and what the experience was like. That, in no way was I saying like, I don't recommend Toasty Bros. Like that's, that's be careful about saying stuff like that. They might get sad. You don't want to make the Toasty Bros sad. What if they're watching? They're not watching. They're really busy guys, okay? They can't just hang out in my stream. All right, Earth Thunder's good to go. Just gonna move it over here, bam. And mark it green, super green. All right. Has anyone else joined who is on the list? Is it Jat, weren't you here? Aren't you here in one of these chats? One or the other, not that one. Yes, you are. You're in the YouTube chat. And I've got you right here. I just remembered seeing your name just a bit ago. For the Legatus. There you go. Wait, you were saying, is, it a, is there a problem with running a 4K monitor and a 1080p as secondary on a 3090? No, it's not. It's really just going to put work into whatever monitor is showing the game. Jasmine Debean has has question is is questioning me. All right, yeah, I know you guys are on the list. I know that. It's just that, uh, like, for people who have been on the list, this one was from the twenty first, you know, earlier, and I saw them in chat. And people, no matter how often I say this. They'll come in and say hi and stuff, but they don't say, hey, by the way, I'm here and I'm on the list. I just came in after stream started. Hello, hi. 
So you got to do that or else I'm not going to know you're here. So is a jet is right there. So I'm just, yeah. Uh, and also the thing to do, like Classic Hero did, you did it. You said you typed my name correctly there. So that will help highlight your chat. So I see it. And I'll know you're here. Right, if I already got you earlier, and like you can see your name here is highlighted, you're already good. You don't have to do it again. And that kind of muddies things up. It's anyone who hasn't told me yet that you're here, please come forward, let me know. Um, and is a jet, I'm, I'm, I'm letting you know, even though you didn't tell me that I saw, hey, uh, you're here, right? Uh, I'm asking if you're here, because it shows you in chat, and I, I just, I just by chance saw your name there. So are you here? Are you ready to go? What's up? Joyful Star, I think I've learned more about computers than any other channel. You mean like from here? I hope, I'm glad to hear it. Gaming Illustrator, custom pre are good for people who don't have the time to build their own or li lives with someone who doesn't know how much about building PC works and believe you need a professional to do it. Um, I mean, yeah, custom. Okay. And also just pre in general are great for the majority of the, of the market. Like 70% of PC hardware sold per year, varying anyway, goes towards pre-built PCs. Whereas, you know, 25 to 30 goes to DIY. Uh, did anyone else lag a bunch? Jasmine DeBean, if you're just now, okay. I just saw your chat come up with that. Try dragging the slider for the stream all the way to the right or reloading the, the stream. If that's the case. Thanks, very Sorry. No problem. Hey, Braith, I have a budget of about 1K. Do you recommend the Auxilia? I don't know if it's right for you, but sure. Just use code THORN, I suppose, if you're going to get it. But, I mean, if you want one-on-one -on -one help, then, like, also for you, uh, X, X, and X, X, and hell, X, X. Um, you, you're trying to slip in front of all the people on the list and try to get help that's not really helpful to you. I don't know if which one do you like more? Alexander's Legatus or the Falcon Northwest Talon with the same specs? Which do you like the look of more? If it's the same specs, it's going to perform very similarly. So do you like the more like showcasey RGB laden Legatus or do you prefer the Falcon Northwest Talon? If you want one-on-one -on -one help, check the description the very first sentence says if you're looking for help please click you know click here fill out the form so i can give you one-on-one -on -one help and i'm not getting an answer from is a jet so i'm going to go ahead and skip and neil gardner who is under a different name which i've harped on that plenty of times in the past i'm not going to do it now just guys pay attention to what your name is in chat when you're typing that's the name i want to see on here okay uh, Braxton 1823. It's similar at least. Anyway, okay, you're here. Good. Awesome. So, you were looking at Zydax. Okay. I'm a little nervous right now about Zydax, if I'm being honest. Let's go to face cam, all right? Well, I'm going to hydrate too. Give me a little bit of talking here. Okay. They've got me a little worried. Why is that, Bray? Why does Zydax have you worried? Well, oh, hello. Oh, here. There you go. And go ahead. So why does Zydax have you worried? I'll tell you why. Because I pay attention to the SI testimonials in the Discord, okay? And in Zydax, there was someone who was having issues had been having issues with like the RGB for their entire system for a while and was so frustrated with their, t their tech support that they were like, if they don't reach back out to me since, cause it's been a month or two since they've talked, they've responded to me, I will, thre I'm threatening legal action. I was able to reach out to Zydax once I saw that and they went in and helped them, but it shouldn't have gotten to that point. And I'm now concerned about even having a Zydax coupon code because of that. 
that shouldn't it should not get to that point so does that make sense that i might be worried about that Gaming Illustrator, to clarify, I'm not ripping on pre-built. I live with people who don't want a bunch of PC parts shipped to the house, and I believe building a PC requires soldering. It does not. Gaming Illustrator, it does not require soldering. No, no, no. It Not in any way, shape, or form. Everything's meant to click together. It does not require any soldering. All it requires is putting on some thermal paste, if you're talking about any kind of application of something. Um, yeah, no soldering required. Do not solder your PCs. They're meant to be able to be disconnected easily. I mean, if it's a laptop, sure. But we ain't out here talking about laptops, so. Yeah, Gaming Illustrator, that is not that is not the case. JDoggo007, what's up? How's it going? Okay, so let me ask you this. Uh, Braxton, you've listed a budget of 4000 or more. Oh. So what is the actual budget for the, the max budget for the system? The maximum budget, not including, as it says in the forum, not including the, you know, monitor, peripherals, shipping, and taxes. What's the, the max budget for the system? Made a mistake on my form. There is a micro center near me. It's actually like an hour away by car. Pretty cool. Nice, Joyful Star. That's really cool to, to find out. I'm happy that my form helped you learn that. Uh, if you can get me the, um, the, the city and state that they list, I'll I'll select that for you. I'll change it for you in your form. Okay, so you want a parts list. So we're gonna be doing a parts list here. Uh, but 5,500 for gaming at 1440p is easy mode. Like that's, you don't need this much. Not even close. But also if you want a parts list, why were we talking about Zydax at all actually? You're gonna build it yourself, right? That's why you wanted a parts list? Just curious. Hey, Crash, same here. I don't live near a micro center myself. It's all good. If that's what we're doing, that's what we're doing. I'll remove the Zydax thing there so I don't get... I get confused easily, unfortunately. You know, squirrel and all that, right? Uh, okay. Oh, wait. Not parts list. I thought you were saying, no, no, no. Parts list. Sorry about that. Okay, so you want pre-built. You see why this is why you guys need to take your time on these forms. Take your time, because we're, we're sitting here spending minutes just trying to get everything sorted out. Um... All right, so you want pre-built, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. You want it in white. You do want to be able to upgrade it over time, so that means AMD for the platform. Okay, so 7800X3D. You're not gonna be, you're not gonna be getting out here spending 5,500 bucks. You don't need to do that. I mean, even with a 4090, we should be able to manage that. So let's, well, it depends on where we go. Um, now I'm curious. Let me ask you this. What state are you in? Just the state. Out of curiosity. Because having someone who's like right by meta PCs, that's like, obviously you go meta PCs then because they're right there. Tusting, you're, you're by the, Joyful Star, you're by the flagship micro center. That has like the most inventory and the coolest looking store. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll do your PC there. The, oh, actually uh, there is, well, we're, we're probably gonna have to go with a, a pre-built there because their build fee alone is $150. So if it's a, if you're like looking for something like crazy high budget, whatever, that's a drop in the bucket. But if you're looking for more of a budget build, which is, you know, totally fine, then it's not as, tenable to have them build a custom one but we can look at the pre-builds they have there on site but if you're in if you're an hour away from Tustin, california you're also pretty close to city of industry california which is like i buy powers there skytech is there a lot of si's are in that area 
Could you not add a section to the form that give an exact amount while you still have your APX price for your data chart? Craig, I've had the more spots I have where people can type in stuff, the more they abuse that, okay? It's actually terrible. Um, just to show you, just to give you an example here, okay? This is what the, uh, this is what the price section looks like after I got rid of that and I created a new form that now has 51 responses. Do you see how clean this is? You see how nice that is? Okay. Uh, let me, hold on. I'm going to go back here just so I can bring up the other one, the old one. Okay. All right. This is the old one. And this is what it looks like when you give uh, people the chance to type whatever they want. So many of these are so close to those $500 increments, it would have been so much more helpful to have that information. But because I had a text field, there are some people who decided that they wanted to enter their, look at this. That makes me so sad for, for my data. It's just like there's a life story in there. So I can't do that. Not, uh, you know, not really an option. Because now that I've seen what it's like without that, this is just much more helpful to me. I can ask in chat. It's no big deal. Uh, India, I don't think there's any SIs that I know of in Indiana. So we'll skip that. So, okay. We can basically go wherever we want for this. You want it in white. You know who builds an awesome white PC? These guys, but I wonder their their prices can be a little higher because their aesthetics are on. They put extra work towards the aesthetics. So let's see. Oh, I never looked at their video editing workstation and workstation PCs. I need to look at that. What type of gaming are we talking about? 1440p? Are you doing AAA? What are we? What kind of gaming are you doing? You didn't select flight sim or anything like that, right? Just gaming. Oh, we do have some people using the pro gaming esports thing. That's cool to see. Okay. Good. I just added that, so. Oh boy, that's gonna be a tough one. It is gonna be a tough one. You dig this tune? I do too. Let's restart it. Wait, that's the wrong tune. There we go. It's called Simon's Call. It's awesome. Neva Faze likes that I went with uh, that I'm thinking about viral, but we'll see because viral does some very unique stuff, and we want to fit as much as we can into this $5,500 budget. So let's see what we can do. I know it's still loud. We're rocking out a little bit.
Okay. I did have a call with Austin over at Viral. No, not right now. Okay. I did have a call with Austin over at Viral. And a couple of the things I mentioned haven't been changed yet. Uh, like their RAM compatibility here for uh, Zen 4. They don't have 6,000 MT uh, memory. So I would rec basically what you can do is you can place your order and then specify, hey, I actually want 6,000 megahertz RAM, okay? Expo memory, preferably, all that stuff. Uh, I can even type out what you need to send them. And uh, let's see. They also don't list, for some reason, the 7800X 3D for their CPUs. That is kind of crazy to me. I don't understand. I mean, they have it in the O11 Vision, which is absolutely sick and awesome, okay? But Okay, already I'm gonna tell you, Braxton, that's an Intel Core i7-14700K, and that goes against the answer you have here of yes, you do wanna be able to upgrade your CPU over time. There really is no upgrade path for that. That's it. You're talking about from there on, from after the 14700K, it's diminishing return city. You're gonna be getting a 14900K with for a little boost in performance, or a 14900KS for an additional little boost in performance for a lot more money and a lot more power usage but you have no other upgrade options. 7800X 3D, considering you're just gaming, is more, more than adequate to the task of 1440p and 4K gaming, which, by the way, you're going to be able to do any kind of 4K gaming you want with this system. A 4070 Ti Super. What was the price on this thing? Yeah, you're just showing me. I get it. I get it. Gaming Illustrator, I actually have a video of... Uh, I have a review of, of a system in that case from iBuyPower. From back when it first came out. You should check it out. Really nice case. $4,700. With a 4070 Ti Super. Well, this doesn't have all this stuff yet, but let's just, let me just, what did you say about Wi-Fi? You said yes, right? You wanted Wi-Fi? Okay. Yes. You don't need to add Wi-Fi. It's already included with a motherboard. Would you like more than one terabyte of storage? Yes. They still haven't changed this. Like, look, Viral, here's my thing. And I, 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 I talked all about this stuff with them. Viral, their goal is high-end systems. But they don't have all the parts to support that. The, the Kingston 1 terabyte NVMe, this is the NV2. This is like the entry-level Gen 4 M.2 drive. And it has 3,500 megabyte per second sequential read and write speeds. I mean, Kingston themselves have drives that are twice the speed of this for not a lot more money. So I recommended to them, hey, like you guys got to get yourself the KC3000 or Kingston Fury Renegade or something like that. Like I love Kingston stuff. It's awesome. And the NV2 makes for a great option, especially for a budget PC to get a, a decent amount of storage, but no. Kingston Fury Renegade. Well, that's the one you want right there. If you, Or the KC3000. If you want actual, like, noticeable Gen 4 performance. So what you do is you place your order and then you, rec you request certain changes. Like, hey, I'd actually like to get, like, Kingston Fury Drive. And I want 6,000 mega transfers per second RAM. And the 7800X 3D, please. Because I don't know why they don't have the 7800X 3D here. Like, they have pretty slow options for RAM. I think they just haven't up... 
what I think what he said when we had our chat, I think he just hadn't updated a lot of this stuff in a while, and I think that's the problem. What case configuration would you like? For this case, I would say you want the dual rear exhaust, not this screen, not the because with this case, with this system, with the, the the vision, it's gorgeous, it's awesome. You lose top exhaust. Generally, what I recommend is side intake so you can get the same fans but have reverse flow. I would request that too, because it's available. Um, same fans, they match everything else. Uh, you have reverse flow on the bottom to have intake and then dual exhaust in the back. That's the that's the orientation I would go with. That's the, the layout I would do, okay? So yeah, choose this one here. Ask them for the Kingston Fury Renegade or the KC3000. Like I said, I'll type out some stuff for you to send in. Um, now, I would hope because it's pictured here that you'd be getting a white GPU. But I don't think that's going to be the case. But one thing they can do is they can wrap the GPU if the one they have is not in white to match the build. Very cool. They've been doing that for a long time and they're very good at it. And it's a hundred bucks. You could even choose all these different designs, which is super sick. There's like a white, like alligator skin kind of thing, which looks cr white gator skin, which looks crazy. I guess I can zoom into the thing here. It's like a white gator skin. There's just a, a matte white, it looks like. Yeah, white matte. This is chrome. They have all these different wraps they can do, and that's super cool. I would go, actually, the pearl would probably look really good with the paint on the case. And it's a hundred bucks. If you don't, I mean, you're talking about a 4090. When you're talking about a 4090, a hundred bucks is a pretty small percentage of the overall price of the GPU to get it to match the aesthetic of the system. But look at this. We're at with what, what CPU do I have temporarily? This is a 7900X, which is going to be a, a, around the same price as a 7800X 7, 3D. Okay. So with a, um, so with, the AMD platform that has future upgradability, a white motherboard that's going to match the white build amazingly. This is the O11 Vision case in white, okay? 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM, which could go up in price a little bit but to get the 6,000, but not by much. And two terabytes of storage, which could raise the price a little bit, but not that much. You're still looking at 4584 cheaper than the Zydax system. So it is cheaper than the Zydax system with a lifetime warranty as well, because I know Zydax offers one Yet I'm worried about that because that person who was like, they're not responding to me. I don't know that I can really endorse them anymore. That really worries me. So would you like to switch the bottom three fans out for the 140 millimeter infinity fans for better airflow? Yes. That doesn't add anything to the price. Okay, cool. No and no. 4584. PC optimization service, 300 bucks. I also think that should just be included with building a PC, but you know. PC optimization service, let's be real, or chaos. That's like a thing now. There are people who make their living just doing that for people, and it's crazy. Uh, the What's crazy about PC optimization to me is that you, the end user, can ruin it in an afternoon in an hour, actually. It's kind of crazy. There are little things that are going to be more buried in the OS, but all you have to do is just leave a bunch of windows open and you're already kind of ruining it. <laughs> but yeah, I would go with viral. There you go. And yes, you can uh, basically, you'll get 50 bucks off of this. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Back up a second. Code Brayathorn on viral tech gets you $150 off of your system. 150. Excuse me. My bad. I was going to say 50 bucks because most SIs of this size would do $50. They're doing $150 off with Code Brayathorn. That's pretty awesome. So it's even less money than that Zydax system that came with a 4070 Ti Super 
instead of a 4090 that will be wrapped to match the aesthetic of the case. There you go. There you go. Okay, I'm not cutting off my glow anymore. That was really annoying me. Now, how do I get this build to you? I have to add it to cart. Is there a share thing up here somewhere probably that I'm just not like, like not seeing? That could be the case. Let's take a look at the... I know I hit add to cart, so like, oh, oh, got to got to select an option. We want the dual rear exhaust. That's what you want. So yeah, and I like that they have this option for better airflow to give you larger fans in the bottom for better airflow. That's good. Okay, I got to select this. Do you? You can select custom cables. Uh, the vertical GP vertical mount GPU. I would probably want to do. It's a hundred bucks. Uh, most of that is already paid off by just using code Brayathorn. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and then you can also select stuff like the uh, Lee and Lee Strimmer cables if you want to go that route, or just some... Um, wait, those are tube sleeves. Oh, okay. I see what they're doing there. They don't need to do that with the Lee and Lee one. That's white tubes. Uh... Mr. Fortune bot NA. Check the Discord, go to the, the tech questions forum and make a forum post there. That's what I would recommend. Uh, because I, I don't, I can't, I'm currently helping somebody and I can't, I don't really do troubleshooting here. Hey, do you have any discount codes for Alexander PCs? Yes. Uh, there is, actually, there's a new one in that section right now extinct. It's Thorn. It's the second half of my name right here. But yeah, you could do these aesthetic upgrades if you want. They're unnecessary, but cool, you know. Uh, pearl wrap. It's already on the pearl one because that's the one I thought would be best. But the thing is, I don't know if I can send you this build. It's not. Okay, now it's going to be added to cart. Let's see if I can share this with you. Okay, subtotal there. Discount code. Braythorn. Let's try it out. 150 bucks off. Look at that. Coupon code Brayathorn. Coupon code Brayathorn applied. You saved 150 bucks. That's pretty nice. There you go. So you're gonna have to ask them for the different CPU, the different RAM, the different storage. Other than that, should be it. So what you'll probably want to do is get a screenshot of this config right here. Here, let me make this a little better. Uh, nope, that's not. Stop it, Windows 11. Stop doing that. Oh my God. It just wants to do what it wants to do. No, stop resizing Chrome. Oh my God. This is not the, okay. Get your screenshot of that. Because I don't know that I can share this with you. Already specced out like that. Okay. So that means you'll need to go in and do this. Like go in and spec this out yourself. Okay. So here's what we want to do. Let me actually do this. Uh... I'll do this right here, actually. I'll do this for you. Okay. Oh, hold on. Yep. That probably looked weird, like everything froze. It's because I was taking a screenshot. I'll go back into Photoshop. I, I could use paint for this, okay? I, I just, I'm used to this here. 
I'm going to make an image that I'm just going to send you and you can send to them. Okay. All right. Let's get some just lines here. Not the right thing. Here we go. I am making this for you. And well, I don't want to make it like that because then they can't see what it originally was. Okay. If it's at 300 bucks, it might, it might raise the price a little bit to go with the 7,800 X3D, but it's close to the price. It's like 350, 360 bucks for a 7,800 7, X3D. Oh, this can already have that X3D. There we go. Don't know why this isn't already in there. Okay, so there's that. And then we want to go with the 6,000 Expo. I'm just going to cross out the things that we don't want to end up in the final build. And storage. NV2. Okay. I know they use megahertz. Okay, I guess I'll do the same thing. Let's see if they have that. They'll come back to you with whatever that's going to be, price difference or whatever. Okay, and then, you know, I'm just... that's there. Stop it. Okay. And we'll switch this to either KC3000 or, or Fury Renegade. There we go. Okay. There we go. I'll just pop this into the Discord. You can grab it. And uh, there it shows the discount code right there and what the price is after that. But these three things will probably raise the price a bit, but it should still be under budget. No problem. Okay. I don't need to unzoom. This is fine. Okay. This is okay. Sorry. You, you couldn't see everything I was doing, but look, that's what it looks like. There you go. You got to look at that, that discount. That was enticing right there the whole time. You're fine. Okay. Okay. Are you in our Discord, Braxton? And the ad break starts right then. Okay. Windows 11 took everything you liked about managing tabs and threw them off a 10-story building. There are times, though, where it has come in clutch. When I actually wanted it to work, it was fine. When I didn't want it to do it, it still does it anyway, and it's really, really annoying. If you didn't see my comment, I have had good experiences with Zydax customer service. That's good. I, I tend to go by the testimonials that I get. So if that's the case, Gastly Gamer, join the Discord. Go to the SI testimonials section of the Discord and go to the Zydax channel and put your story there. Also, if it was a long time ago. Oh, wait. No, but I will. Okay. You, you got the screenshot too? Okay, sick. Awesome. I'll just, I'll just drop it in general.
All right, there it is. And you can just look at my panels or do this, ex, uh, exclamation point D. There's a Discord. Join it up. General chat. Your thing is right there. Okay, that's going to be it for yours, and we can now move on. everything up but whatever just with beard still working on yours you gotta give it time also shave it shave it frequently just like it, it does help stimulate growth too well it helps it, it helps it to look thicker too because when you're if you just let it grow out like as much as it does like right from the beginning the tips will look thinner because it's like a thinner well whatever anyways yeah shave it too now and then you up with custom builds like if i'm oh the music's too loud Sorry, I like the music, okay? I'm sorry. Now you can hear me. Okay, there we go. Uh, do you help with custom builds like if I'm getting good value for my parts? The main thing I do, I focus on is whether something's right for your needs and budget, yes. But where you buy it from? Like if you're trying to buy used parts or something like that, I don't, I don't, even, I don't even dip my toes into that because it is too risky for, especially for anyone who's like, I don't know if you're new to this stuff, and then and going DIY either way. Um, but yeah, I can help put together a build, uh, like a, a, a parts list. That's not a problem. What's up, JR? How's it going? Streamer cables mix red, blue, and purple really well. They do. I have some that I haven't, I've had out of a build for a long time and I want to put them in something. Uh, let's see. And Ghastly Gamer, that, that comment I made about putting, make make a uh you know make a, a testimonial there for zydax if you had a good experience just understand if you had that good experience a few years ago a lot can change in a few years and that they may be having a little trouble with it or falling behind on it and that kind of stuff you know that's um the industry changes a lot in a year and companies change as well appreciate the beard tips no problem uh the next person on the list now that i got this let me go ahead and let me just do this Okay. Next on the list is going to be, it's not the right color, uh, Jasmine DeBean. Oh boy. Igor, what's going on? Thank you for the two gifted subs. I appreciate that. You've gifted 66 in the chat, in the channel. That's crazy. One, uh, tier one sub to Painless and the original Parker bot. Uh, never phase, link in description. Yes, pretty much. I think most people would look in the description. Yes, but Kyle, Kyle KR, uh, no, not used. I'm buying from Micro Center. Yeah, I do Micro Center parts list too. Just check. Uh, actually, I asked specifically about Micro Center in the form, which you'll find in the description of the YouTube chat and oh all right you got it toaster thanks for coming in buddy uh and if you're in Twitch chat exclamation point form will will give you the link but it also posts it every few minutes anyway so I don't want everybody doing that just it's gonna be all those links everywhere now Jasmine I don't know uh this is gonna be a tough one because um okay let's let's talk about it Let's talk about it. And this is something that for everyone who is looking for a budget system, listen up, this is important, okay? Because I was looking at yours and I'll typically just leave this this uh, column here because then most, you know, a lot of people just want gaming, but then there might be a couple other things like gaming and streaming or gaming and content creation or something like that. I moved it a little bit and then I moved it more and then I kept moving it and I was like, oh my goodness. So just to check here real quick, okay. 
you fully intend to do gaming, streaming, content creation, slash video editing, graphic design, and coding slash game design, right? Like you, you, you weren't just like, I like to put it this way. You weren't like just the kid in the elevator, just pushing all the, all the floors, all the buttons, right? Yo, Brian, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you for the thousand biddies. Thanks. I appreciate that. PC ordered. Let's go, nerds. Congratulations. That's awesome. Or gaming and illustrating. I'll see myself out for that joke. Don't see yourself out. I need the viewership. I'm kidding. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, I, 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 we do like uh, we do like the corny jokes around here. You're good. Um, okay. I also kind of just want to like. Let me see if I can. I feel like that was just too small, honestly. There we go. That's better. Okay, so. when you're looking for a, basically for the budget you selected less than a thousand dollars for a gaming pc not a problem i mean depending on what the actual budget is whatever the actual budget is which the less than a thousand doesn't really tell me unless you're actually like right at one thousand right so what is the actual budget for the pc empire of noise wish we had a micro center over here in the uk yeah, see, in, in, in the U.S., if you're bound and determined, you can usually drive to a micro center in a day somewhere, right? In the U.K., not so much. And they don't, like, there are, like, 27 micro center locations. There are 50 states. And some states, like the state of New York, has four. Texas, where I'm at, has two. So there are a lot of places in the U.S. that doesn't have, don't have a micro center, and they're going to occupy those first before they go overseas if they ever do. But I'm sure you guys have some kind of equivalent. Maybe. Okay, so it's not less than a thousand. It's uh, 1300. Okay. So, okay, I realize I don't have a thousand dollars or more as an option, but okay. I should put a thousand or less, but whatever. Uh, so 1300. Okay. Now, here's what we, we, we pretty much have to do here, okay? Is we focus on the ones that we can accomplish here. And we try to get you into something that is upgradable in some way. So that as you are going along with the system, your foundation, you can, I don't know, maybe watch this series that's coming out this year. And you can learn how to do some upgrades as time goes on. I'm talking about some really simple ones all the way to the more complex ones that you don't ever really have to do, but you could. I'm structuring this show so that literally anyone can start from the beginning and learn how to do every one of these upgrades. Okay? That is my goal. This is not a show for me to show off how much how much stuff I know or what cool stuff I can build. It's not for me. It's for you guys. Now, you did state that you want to have upgradability for your CPU. If we go with 7000 series Ryzen, it will limit us on certain other things like we can't put quite as much towards the GPU. It's okay. GPU is one of the easiest things to upgrade, not money wise, but physically. Okay. Cause you just pop that one out, put the other one in, but also here's the thing with Intel, you get more cores for your money. And when it comes to coding, uh, when it comes to video editing, things like that, the number of cores can really help. Whereas stuff like graphic design and like photo editing, stuff like the Photoshop is more dependent on like frequency, like faster cores, right? Um, content creation, video editing, graphic design, that's gonna, re that's gonna rely on also higher memory capacity. Uh, and graphic design and photo editing is gonna require like also fast memory too, but see every one of these use cases comes with its own caveats. Like, what does that mean? What do we have to do to make a system suitable for these things? So it's not gonna be very, very good at any one thing. We can't focus like that. If it was 1300 bucks for just a gaming PC, it would be a pretty simple CPU-ish, right? And uh, more money towards the GPU. But we can't really do that with all of these use cases. You need cores.
Empire of Noise, sorry. Got you beat out there. 98 for me. And it was tough for us back then. There was not as much, there were not any of the resources that y'all have now. And even buying parts was harder to do uh, back in the, in the, in the dark ages of PC building. Um, and yeah, that's, I'm not really counting like the eighties when it was like, go to, go to Radio Shack and spend $5,000. And, uh, like a third of that is the CRT monitor. <laughs> Stuff was expensive back then. It's also expensive now. PCs have just always been expensive. Crash, I'm not. I literally cannot start the series until I get the base PC. And they're still sort of um, giving me a tiny bit of a runaround because we want to do it right. I just can't start production until that happens. You guys will know when production is going to be starting because I'm probably going to be doing an unboxing and testing stream of the base PC. So when that happens, you'll know, hey, now he can get started with production for pre-built, rebuilt. It, uh, that's what I'm not saying this month or next month. I'm saying 2024. Well, that's when uh, my hobby of PC modding and building and stuff was born. So there you go. So Jasmine, I just hope I gave you a good idea of that. Now, here's another thing. One benefit of what you're doing is that you want a parts list. So you're actually going to get all of the money in your budget is going to go towards the parts. Now, it, there are benefits to getting a pre-built, but because you're building it yourself, that means that uh, you don't have to spend any money on a build fee, on on uh, a large amount of shipping, because basically most of the parts you're going to buy are going to have free shipping, right? Um, you're not going to have any parts markup, none of that stuff, other than the markup at the retailer. So, yeah, uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, the only thing that I'm hesitant about is the whole AMD versus Intel thing, because if you want future upgradability for your CPU over time, you would probably want to go with AMD. But to make a system that is more a, a more budget oriented system that is more multi-purpose intel is killing it right now with all their cores because of the hybrid architecture so i gotta do I, I gotta have a little think about that let's see here there's also like you said streaming Gaming, streaming, content creation, video editing, coding, ga uh, coding, game design, and graphic design, right? So you did say 1080p. That helps. That means that what we can do is we can, man, it depends. I suppose uh, for the game design thing, if you're doing, because I know I do coding slash game design and they can be completely separate. You can program stuff other than games is what I'm saying. Uh, but if you're doing game design, it depends on what engine you're going to be using and whether it has any kind of focus on um, on ray tracing. Okay, that's when you need to go with NVIDIA pretty much. And a lot of industry programs, which if you're in school for it, they're going to provide you with industry programs like that's part of the curriculum, which is really nice. Part of what you pay for for school. Okay. Um, a lot of industry applications have certified drivers with nvidia which is like awesome so let's let's see how prices are doing on gpus i might try to go for like a 30 series to maximize your budget but i mean honestly like if we went amd you'd get more for your money on the gpu that's just a fact so let's see if we were to say 40% of your budget goes to the GPU, which is like the average thing you do for a gaming PC. Okay, then you're looking at like 450 to 500 bucks for the GPU, right? But we might need to bring that down a little bit. See, otherwise I would love to recommend something like a 7800 XT because the 16 gigs of VRAM is awesome. But I'm thinking no, I don't think I can fit that in the budget. I don't think I can. 
I just do it. But they don't just let you choose between. Am I missing something here? Sure, let's do that. That should make it just NVIDIA. Yes, there's a 16 gig 4060 Ti, and I don't think I would ever recommend it. Why is there a GTX 1650 for $500? Can someone explain this to me, please? Ooh, no. That's not what I meant to do, but okay. See, 12 gigs of VRAM on the 4070 Super, but the price is not great. It is, for what you get, yeah, 575. If it was just a gaming PC, 579 for this, amazing. You're gaming at 1080p, though. You don't really need that. But I'm trying to get you something with more VRAM. Maybe a 3060. Not the 8 gig one. Thirty-six. It comes with 12 gigs of VRAM. Why are these so expensive? Why is the cheapest 3060 389? That's crazy to me. God, Nvidia, they ruined the market for GPUs. And I mean this this is like <sighs> one time I might actually have recommended a used GPU. <laughs> yeah, you can get a 4070 Super for less than some of these 3060s. It's crazy. You know what? Let's try it. Because some of your applications will benefit from this. I'm probably missing a lot of stuff in chat. Brady, have a tier list of SIs out. Slufa, there is no reason for me to make one of those. It would not be the same from one individual to another. Uh, anyone who would have Falcon Northwest as a tier list, because they should buy from them, would not think very highly of iBuyPower. But someone who should be buying from iBuyPower would think not, they wouldn't think very much of Falcon Northwest. Right? They might put them high in the tier list, but they wouldn't buy from them because someone buying from iBuyPower is looking more for, you know, performance per dollar. So tier lists don't work for SIs. Too many variables. My thing is every, SI, every system integrator has something unique that they offer. And it's about figuring out which one's right for the, each individual person when I'm doing these streams. When I'm doing my videos, I just cover them. I'm just like, this is what's going on over here. This is what they're like. This is the kind of feedback I've gotten on them. These are what their deals are like, you know? Making a tier list might steer people in the wrong direction because with YouTube videos, there's no way for me to know the individual viewer, like when I'm doing a stream. Oh, Dark Force, thanks for hanging out. Have a good one. I missed that way a long time ago. Like a long time ago. Sorry about that. That is, that is a good chunk of the budget, but that's how it goes with a GPU. That's usually how it's supposed to go with a build. Now, the thing is, the CPU thing. So we can try to go with Zen 4, but this is going to affect you in video editing. It's going to hold you back in video editing because uh, it's only six cores. It's going to hold you back in coding. It is going to hold you back in maybe streaming because if you're gaming and streaming on one system and you're running a ton of stuff in the background yeah it can be it can get kind of overwhelming for a six core cpu yeah it is kind of crazy how high price 30 series are like it's nuts the will what's going on welcome how do i tell how much how many people are before me in the submissions I, I, there's no, uh, I mean, it's, I, I have to go and look, but I'm going to check something here real quick. And yeah, you're the last person that entered your information. So everybody, everybody's ahead of you. If you enter your information and we're like an hour before the end of the stream, it's very unlikely you're going to be helped out during that stream. The, and the more streams pass, the more likely you are to get helped earlier in that 
later stream, like we did with these today. These people got helped out today, and now we're down here. And we're right here. And you're down here. So, yeah. That's okay. I won't be doing much of the video editing and streaming. Okay, let's go Ryzen 5 7600 for now. We're going to try this, guys, okay? We're trying this, but it's really, really doubtful. And we would have to cut out, uh, cut out a lot of other stuff. I don't think this is going to work. But let's see what we can do. Uh, we want B650. That's really where we're, we are limited there. We want B650. Oh, this is tough. We're going to have to go with like a really budget case that comes with fans, but there is a ton of options there. Um, what am I doing? ATX only. Thank you. And then we select by price. Are you serious? The live mixer is the cheapest B650. It's a sick board though. Are you kidding me? Look at this thing. Look at this motherboard. Look at this IO. How is this the cheapest one? Yes, a lot of the, a lot of it is slower USB, okay? But that's okay. You still have five fast USB type A's and one type C and 2.5 gig ethernet. However, no Wi-Fi. And you stated that you don't know if you need Wi-Fi. Okay. Um, well, if you're in a dorm, for one thing, you probably need Wi-Fi unless they wired up every dorm with ethernet for hardline internet, okay? If you're not in a dorm or whatever, and you are in an apartment or home, wherever your computer is going to go, you want to, if, if, if it's going to be like right next to your, your internet equipment, or if you haven't had internet installed, you can ask them to put, hey, put it in this room, please. Wherever your PC is going to be. That way you can plug in directly with ethernet and you don't need Wi-Fi. Because if you're going to stream, I know you just said you're not going to do a lot of it. But if you're going to stream, then you generally want to have a hardline connection so that you don't have to share that wireless signal with interference and everybody else and all that stuff. No problem, Kyle. All good. Hey, Bray, got the Legatus today. Somewhat disappointed, not with them, PC Amazing so far, rather with FedEx. I'll be doing a review and posting your Discord. Did they damage it? Don't keep me in suspense. Sorry to hear that, though. But it's working, right? Like, that's that's what I want to know, if it's working. I'm not... It's online classes. Okay, so are you near your internet hardware, like your, your router and modem, or the combo one that's a gateway? Are you close to that wherever your PC is going to go? Wow, Newegg has a 7900 XTX on sale for 900. What now, NVIDIA? What are you going to do now? Okay, so you don't need Wi-Fi. So we'll change that to a no. Okay. So yeah, I guess this motherboard is the cheapest option. I've heard good things. It looks sick. Are you okay with this? You want your PC to be black. Yes, yeah, so the black and orange would look cool. Hey, look at this motherboard. Yeah. I know that Yes I Am was for the, the, the hardline internet thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and say yes to this because this is actually, I've heard good things about these, both this and the Intel version. Pretty well built, nice features, and it's on it's on sale, that's why. Okay. Yeah, it looked cool. Heck yeah, there you go. All right. We might have to... Look, I went overboard on the GPU. We might have to shave that back a bit because we're trying to make a balanced system. And the 4070 Super is definitely not necessary for 1080p gaming. I'll tell you that. Okay? But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, we can go with an air cooler. Let's look at cases real quick. Let's choose a case that is a budget case that comes with fans like the Montec Air 903 Max would be nice. That one's fine. That's a good case. Uh, let's do this. Price. Ooh. 
what is it? How is this thing? $52. Sorry, I'm curious about that. I'm going to check it out later. That looks crazy for 52 bucks. I mean, it's rising tech, I know, but still. I'm thinking about the in-win one where you can swap those panels around. Never mind. Wrong one. CC560. Let's look at deep cool cases. Let's see what some of these are running for. We'll, we'll pick Deep Cool and Montec. They are kind of going head-to-head -head these days. Okay, X3 Mesh. X3 Mesh. Uh, CC560. That, uh, let's see. CK560. I've seen that one plenty. A lot of us guys have used it. The Air 903 Max is a nice case for the money, for sure. We're already getting up in price. Do the King 95 is 90 bucks. That's crazy. Comes with no fans though. I did mention that. Ah, oh, the CH560 in white is 89, 99. That thing comes with three 140 millimeter fans in the front and a 120 millimeter RGB fan in the back. That would be sick, but it's also higher price than I would like to say. Why is it $5 more for the black one? That's weird. Anyway. Let's go for now. We'll go with the 903 Max. Is a Gigabyte B650 Aero G available? What's up, Sonder PCs? What's going on? Yeah, there was a hole in the box and they taped it up. Didn't notice until I came home. Once you pull the PC out, I heard something moving. It was a piece of plastic I took out. I have no idea where it's from, but PC is working. Okay. As long as you take pictures and report it, you should be good. My family has one modem router and the only one, only one person is connected to the ethernet on it. The rest of the house is has body Wi-Fi. I should probably convince my family to buy an ethernet over outlet adapter. I'm not a big fan of ethernet uh, over, over electricity personally, but that's because when I tried to use it, it was still a fairly new thing. That's like $95 in fans. It is. I really like the CH560. I've built in it. It's an excellent case. I actually have a stream where I built in it in the VODs. But uh, the 903 Max also comes with 140 millimeter fans, RGB. It is a bit larger, I think. Um, but I really like the... Okay, well, let's let's pick this for now. We'll come back to the case, okay? Uh, we're already at 998.96. If I can pull this off, all right, I get all the credit, all right? Like, seriously. Uh, 60 bucks for an NV... See, this is where an NV2 makes sense. Viral. Not in your high-end systems. But in a system like this, where we're, we're, we're getting, trying to get the most performance out of out of the money. And here, the NV2 at 60 bucks, you're still getting Gen 4 speeds, though they are entry-level Gen 4. Those that Gen 4 interface also will benefit in non-sequential reads and writes. And no, it does, it is, yes, it is DRAMless, but it has HMB. So we'll be using system memory. Let's pick that for now. Again, we can make changes later. It's a parts list, you know. Power supply. Now, we want six, I believe for the 4070 Super, 650 or 700 is what we need. Um, and I know this is a really good one, but let's, well, let's do this for now again. So we'll have a power supply. We'll come back to that. Okay. Um, memory and CPU cooler, I think is all we've got left. Okay, two by, I would like to do more than 32 gigs, but this is not happening. Okay, let's see. There are some really low cost kits with really great speeds these days. Price. And we also want it to be um, Expo if possible. I believe it's is the flare. Yes, this one right here, 106.99. 32 gigs, DDR5, 6,000, CL30 with Expo. All right. 
Now we need a CPU cooler. Guys, I think we did this. Am I zoomed in? No, good. I was scared now because I've done that too many times. Now, before you go in and choose an operating system, buy an operating system, do not do that. All you need to do is download the Windows Media Creation Tool, install it on a USB drive. If you have a little laptop or something that you can use that, and then install Windows 11, Home or Pro, whichever you choose, and then buy a uh, an OEM license from my YouTube sponsor, VIP CDK deals for like 20, 25 bucks, okay? Not the 120, 130 bucks it costs for a retail key. CPU cooler, yeah. Peerless Assassin 120, yeah, that'll handle a 7600. And that's $33. I think that is the Phantom Spirit. That's the newer one. For $35.90. Yeah. Guys, speed running impossible budget builds. You see, you can speed run without gaming. Tier list for SIs at different budgets. Sufa, I just told you, I'm not going to do tier list for SIs. It doesn't make sense. I answered that before, so please stop asking. If, if I wanted easy content and a lot of clicks, I would do it. And just be providing misinformation. It would be right, you know, it would be like a broken clock, right? Twice, twice a day. That's it. A few people would agree, be based on their personal preferences. Look at this. Look at that. Would you look at that? 64. Can you believe it, guys? I can't believe I went over budget. Just a lemming. I should have gone for the $95 case so I could have been extra over budget, right? Because it's like $95 in fans. I cannot believe I managed this. This thing has a 4070 Super in it. Now, here's the question. Do we downgrade the GPU to upgrade the CPU? Unacceptable over budget. You're right. All right. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm going to have to end it here. See you guys later. <laughs> no, we got a great power supply. The, RM the RM750E is very highly rated by the P uh, PSU Cultist tier list. Uh, handle it, It'll definitely handle the CPU and GPU. No problem. All your power needs. We got a great kit of actual Expo memory. So it has the actual memory profile for DDR5-6000, 4, Zen 4. Um, we got a crazy motherboard here with a live mixer. Okay, because it has a crazy price on it. And it's going to add a big splash of color to the case, which is sick, actually. Um, there are other motherboards, okay, that are maybe 10, 15 bucks more. But, like, not with this much I.O., that's for sure. 901 Miller, what is the sensitivity thing? Are you trying to send exclamation point sensitivity? What command, what, what would that command do? Are we going to sensitivity training? What is this? Yeah, that that is that is awesome. I'm really, I'm very pleased right now. Quite pleased, as Adam Savage would say. I think I've stressed him out a little. Wait, what, did I do something wrong? I would change the NV2. It's got HMB. It's fine. Also, I was trying to get under budget, but HMB is supposed to be equivalent to onboard DRAM. It's just a little slower and it just uses system memory. And guess what? We got really fast system memory and 32 gigs of it. It's fine. I'm not actually ending. I'm not actually ending it. Mac and cheese and pizza grease orange. I guess. Sorry, I'm a child of the 80s and 90s. So like, it fits. It fits the aesthetic. It's fine. Also, like graffiti, it's supposed to look like graffiti. So it looks like graffiti. I will say I prefer the Intel one because it's purple. That's the whole reason. That's really the reason right there. It's also more expensive because it's a, it's a higher end in that. It's a higher end chipset in that platform. It's a Z series board. Whereas this, instead of being like X670, it's B650. Yeah. I think we did it. But yeah, if you're trying to upgrade the drive to something that is not DRAMless, um, I mean these do these do very well with their HMB. Um it's a budget build, what can I say? Would changing the CPU and GPU do much for gaming slash price? 
Well, if you're gaming, this, the GPU is usually more important. And when it came down to your choices here, though you chose like almost literally every other option, you did not choose pro gaming, esports. So you're not trying to run super high refresh rate, uh, super high frame rate uh, 1080p games. And as a matter of fact, later on, you could easily upgrade to a 1440p monitor and this system could run that no problem. And if you do upgrade to a 1440p monitor at some point, you'll find it easier to run programs for things like, you know, graphic design, game design, things like that. You'll just have room to have more things, the resolution, have more things on your screen, all of that. All right, Gaming Illustrator, if you don't like it, that's fine. That is okay. Let's not make fun of it, though. I think it looks sick, personally, but those are each of our opinions, right? Also, the person, the most important thing, the person who would actually be buying it thought it looked awesome. So let's not uh, let's not down talk anything that we have to do with a budget system, okay? Kind of uh, kind of not cool. I would grab that motherboard tonight. It's sick. It's awesome for what you're getting. Are you kidding me? Like I am obsessed with IO for anyone that says they want to do streaming, and this this viewer did. So for this, you could connect a ton of devices to this. The only thing is, Jasmine, make sure that if you're going to hook up something like an audio interface that requires higher speed uh, USB or something like an Elgato face cam, something like that, that you use your your faster Ethernet po uh, yeah, USB ports because it will require that. So, yeah. All right. Let's get this build over to you. Well, let's save it real quick first. What a great build for the money. Absolutely. I could not agree more. Now, one thing, Jasmine, you might want to consider, okay, is the case choice. You can look around and maybe think about getting a different case. Uh, I personally really like the CH560. Um, I really think it's an awesome looking case. And if you want to see what that one's like to build in, you can watch the VOD uh, on YouTube of me building in that. And it was it was really nice to build in. But it is about, I think, let me see, $70 versus $95. So yeah, about $35 more. So that's something to think about. I love Nick and SpongeBob, though, so that's a plus in my book. It says Crash. Here, here's the thing. You match up your RGB to that, and it's going to look awesome. It's going to look very intentional, which I think is very cool. Man, I was like so stressing about this one, but I'm glad we got it. We got it going. If you had gone pre-built on that, it would have been a lot more limited. We could not have chosen the motherboard. It would have been some like ready to ship kind of thing. But like, you good. You're good now. And we'll change that to green. We have a little bit more time because I started like 25, 30 minutes late, unfortunately because of OBS issues. So we're gonna go 25, 30 minutes extra. But I'm glad most of y'all behind me on that build. I'm very happy with it. What's up, Kenneth D? How's it going? Welcome, Easy Jake Oven. Can we get some love in chat for Bray? Oh, thank you. Is there a new history form link? It's the same, well, I mean, actually, it, it, I think it is actually, but I updated it in YouTube. Let me just drop the link for you here. There you go. What a great, yeah, what a great, it was a great build for the money. Yeah, that's the, that's the link to the history form. And um, for those of y'all who are in YouTube chat, it's right there in the description. You can see this stuff, but I'll go ahead and post it here too. So you can see all of the, all of the builds we've done. 
we've at this point recommended 118 different systems and parts lists. Uh, a bunch of them don't have the timestamps for the YouTube VODs, but most of them, if you look here, do have, uh, thanks to Cogs in the Discord, uh, in the community, they have YouTube links to the VOD with timestamps that take you to the exact part of the stream where I started helping that person. And uh, it's not a, it's not edited, none of that. It's just a VOD, but there you go. I don't do emojis, but when I never roast, some, uh, but when I never roast something, if I hate it, I'll just do it to add uh, in my own humor to the comments. That's okay. It's just certain certain times it might be in a little bit of bad taste, and that's I you know I've 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 done all kinds of like group improv comedy things like that, and it's like they, they want you to think like joke about everything. Everything's a joke, and I I've, I don't know that that's something that I ever really agreed with. But in this, it's not serious. It's nothing serious or anything. It's just me saying, ah, I'm not too, I'm not too into that. That's all it is. So, okay. Um, I'll look into cases. Awesome. Yeah, the C here, uh, CH560 is the other one. CH560. And if you just go to my VODs later after the stream, don't leave me right now, but if you go to the VODs later, uh, you'll see under, under like live for content on my channel that there was a deep cool uh, build stream where I built in the CH560. You can decide whether you like it or not uh, yourself. It didn't boot at the at the at that time. It does now, but uh, you can see the build process and everything, which is very cool. Okay, so the next person is going to be Rachel Bennett, eight zero four one. Have I seen the Blaze Four K spray? I have. Yes. We were actually going to do the Blaze 4 as a, the next review system, but that was when, like, my new contact I got, because I have a different contact now at uh, SkyTech for the systems and stuff. I've always I've had the same contact in general, um, uh, Fabian over there. He's awesome, and he works with a lot of the PR stuff and all that. He's amazing. He, do, he runs the, the Twitter and all that. Awesome dude. One of my favorite people. But... Um, the new person I'm working with over there for like system reviews, things like that. Uh, they were like, Hey, we were looking into stuff that we have that we could send you. Do you want this system that's on the test bench for a brand new system? We don't even have on the site yet. New case, new config, all that. Something that we don't sell yet. I was like, Yes, I do want that. Please, thank you. It's exciting. I'm excited, okay? The zoom out is too slow on this, but we'll give it a try. There we go. 2K pre-built next should be interesting. Here and ready, Mr. Brayton. All right, cool. Uh, any recommendations for 240 hertz OLED monitors? Alienware makes one. I don't know. I don't really review monitors, so I wouldn't call myself an authority on that topic. So I don't really make recommendations there. But um, there is uh, someone mentioned earlier the channel Monitor Unboxed. Uh, monitors Unboxed? Is it, is it plural? But it's Hardware Unboxed channel on just monitors, which is super cool. Also, uh, rtings.com. I guess ratings.com is what you call it. Uh, but rtings.com has great lists like top 10 gaming monitors things like that top 10 oled monitors just lists like that great site i reference it all the time uh Braith no i wasn't expecting another one so i didn't get it uh i actually don't see one from you you need to click my name and select it there if you try to do it any other way, I guess it doesn't work. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, okay, back to business, back to work. Rachel is here, so we're going to get started. So we're looking at a $2,000 uh, pre-built and uh, gaming and 3D design. So can you specify the application that you're going to be using? Curious. Uh, Mandalorian, no problem. Also, check out uh, Tech Audit. Tech Audit. 
if you look in our Discord, there's a ch there's a channel called Helpful Info. Scroll all the way to the first post, and that is actually a uh, I believe that's a link to that video because that video they talk about how to shop for a monitor, like the terminology you're going to see, stuff like that. So if you're new to this stuff, it's a great video to watch. He's great. Yeah, Crash is going to be cool because I don't know the specs of the system in there. So we will find out. It should be pretty good. Okay, so here's what we're looking at. $2,000, you're going to be ordering it within a month. Okay, and it is not a Micro Center build. You want pre-built and you'd like to get it within two weeks. So that limits us a little bit on custom options. But that's generally, I kind of flub that sometimes. Like, we'll see what options are out there. And you... I just need something that can slice 3D print files. So you're doing 3D printing. That's That shouldn't be too difficult. Um, if we don't focus on that, we just focus on gaming, it should not have any problems. Now you're gonna be gaming at 1080p. So that is pretty easy to do for $2,000. I mean, you, you should, I would actually suggest aiming for 1440p when you're looking at a $2,000 budget, just putting that out there. Um, and you said that you do care about being able to upgrade your CPU over time. You put yes right there, okay? So that means AMD for the platform, okay? And you know, guys, honestly, it does sometimes surprise me just how many people select... Oh, hold on. Why have I been signed out? One second. Okay, well, that's interesting. Give me a second, guys. Okay. It does, it kind of surprises me how many people answer, oh, that's not what I want, wait. Summer, there we go. How many people answer yes to that? Because based on my conversations with people in the industry, they don't expect this. They do not expect the majority of pre-built buyers to have any interest in upgrading their CPU over time. But 67%. Uh, now, this is out of 52 responses. I do have the older form, okay? The older form was almost exactly the same because we didn't have that question the whole time. It was like 100 people had answered, and it was like 60% yes. All right, FD Power, you got it. We'll be here. By the way, if I talked about, if I had cars as part of my username too, I'm guessing I would, it would probably say FC Power from when I used to have an FC. But hey, I always wanted an FD though. Oh, the YouTube loyalty badge is different colors of bees. I thought they were beer mugs this whole time. Nope. Where did I put those? Oh, I got these right here. It's our little buddy, RGB. She got the merch store. It's linked in the description. Okay. Uh, just need something. Else. Okay, so 3D printing. So you stated that you do want to be able to upgrade your CPU over time. That's what I was talking about. Okay, good. I, I, I got lost in the sauce there for a bit. So um, it'll be AMD. And I would probably recommend that you event that you, I mean, we're, we would do a system that's going to be able to do 1440p. That's what I'm thinking. Now, because you want it within two weeks or so, and you're just talking about gaming and 3D printing. I would say we don't need to go with anything too custom. I'd probably say we should look at maybe SkyTech or Stins has a good one. You know what? Let's look at Meta. Not Meta. No, no, not Meta. That's not what I meant to say. I meant to say uh, Power GPU. Power GPU. Because if they have it in stock their power prime it is in stock 
is a pretty great system. Oh, ugh, never mind. It's Intel. Never mind. Forget it. Forget it. 14600K and 4070 Super, yada, yada, but it's Intel. So that doesn't quite jive with the info that you gave me for your submission. So let's go here. We're going to look at some of the systems here. Eventually. They do have a pretty slow website. I know I have this somewhere, one second. Where is it? Dang it. Okay, I had a picture of my FC somewhere that I used to have. I don't have it anymore, so I can't claim that anymore. But I had a 10th anniversary edition. RX-7 Turbo FC. It was so nice. I was putting too many miles on it, so I sold it to a collector. No idea where I, uh, hold on. Yeah, no idea where I left it. Oh, well, you'll just have to take my word for it, I guess. Craig, I saw that earlier where you're like, I'm actually impressed. What do you, what do you mean actually impressed? Hoping you're a car guy with that shirt. Of course I am. Never phase says quick question Bray. I was on late I was on late because I was at work. See my name a little above Jasmine and Rachel. Uh well, never phased. Unless I missed it when you said Brayathorn, I'm on the list. You gotta come in and say Brayathorn, I'm on the list. Uh otherwise I don't know that you're on the list. I don't like have a list of all the users that come into my chat and leave the chat. And I don't uh, oh, Slufa is apparently on the list. I did see that before. So, I mean, I didn't see that before. So I just saw that now. I'll have to see where they are, but they might be a newer entry. But yeah, I don't see you saying that you're on the list anywhere. So if you come into the stream and you'd like me to know something like that, you do need to tell me because uh, I don't have the list memorized. And enjoy people uh, enjoy and, and, and enjoy. I saw that because you said enjoy watching the stream and I appreciate that, uh, but it, I don't just automatically like recognize that someone is on the list. Okay, one in black. Okay, that does. 7700X, 4070 Super. Let's see. Okay. One terabyte Gen 4. RTX 4070 Super, 32 gigs DDR5, 5200. 360 millimeter AIO. 
I think this might have been the one we were going to be getting in for review, actually. But they changed it up. $17.59 plus free shipping. Before my discount. Now, let's see. I shouldn't have... Let's duplicate this. No! Dang it. Are those really all the only ones with a 7600X? That's crazy. I'm guessing that's because 7800X 3D. So we're not done. We're not done. Trust me on this. All right. You're in good hands here. If there's anything I know, it is the way that they do things over there at Skytech. And we should have, and indeed we do, several amazing options with the 7800X 3D. Several with the Radeon 7800XT and several with a couple with NVIDIA cards. One is a 4070 Super. Another one is a 4070 Ti, which will outperform a 4070 Super. And it's actually cheaper. How did that happen? Because it's on sale. No, not image. Okay. Seven eight hundred X three D, top of the line gaming CPU on the market. Not necessary for what you're doing unless you're doing any like competitive gaming. Very very high refresh rate. It will shine in that in that regard, but it's just great for gaming overall. So one of these is going to have a forty seventy Ti. It has the same RAM, right? Same RAM. Oh, this has faster memory. Okay, three sixty millimeter AIO for both. Three sixty millimeter AIO storage is a one terabyte NVMe. 2 terabyte NVMe Gen 4. So the faster memory and the Gen 4 2 terabyte M.2 drive to me makes this a better system. Now, this is not representative of the final product. And the reason I say that is if you look at the picture, it has an M it has a micro ATX motherboard and a full ATX case. This is using a full ATX B650 in the actual build. Believe it or not, even though the other one has a 4070 Ti, I would probably go for this one. But that's me because I like the double the storage in a faster uh, interface with the Gen 4 uh, interface on the M.2 drive. Faster memory, it's not a big difference. It's 400 mega transfers per second difference. That's not a massive difference at all. But otherwise, they're also they're 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 identical either way. Thanks for reply. No problem. Okay. Okay, I see. Putting a 4070 in a $1,300 build, I was shocked. Craig, I do try. Although they're watching an ad right now, so they didn't hear me say that. I appreciate you matching up your username on YouTube. And a lot of people don't know they can do that, that you can change your, 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 your name as it appears on YouTube. Uh, so you're welcome. There you go. HP has a... Focus. HP has focus on upgrading CPUs. HP? I zoned out while reading that. So still not, not going to enjoy the stream. You can imagine how shocked I was before rereading. Uh, thank you, Never Phased. I appreciate you. Both of y'all. Uh, yeah, I would go with this one if it was me because it has some features like that you know i would appreciate but 4070 ti versus 4070 super the 4070 ti is going to win if you're in higher resolution however you stated that you're doing 1080p and they can both do 1440p so that's a tough one chat what do y'all think between these two builds that are so similar Whereas this one has upgrades to the storage and the RAM, this one has slower one terabyte storage 
and also slower memory, but still the same capacity, still DDR5, but a 4070 Ti. 750 watt, 80 plus gold power supply, same power supply for both. Uh, that's not a that's not um, different between the two. What do y'all think, chat? B650, B650, same motherboard. Upgrading an NVMe is cheaper than upgrading a GPU, but they don't really need to upgrade the GPU because they they their goal is 1080p gaming. Oh, you heard me? Awesome, Craig. Awesome. Honestly, like really high budget builds are easy. Budget builds are hard, and often the result is is more gratifying when I can put something really good together. And guys, that's why, just so you know, this is why in the videos now, there is a fourth disclaimer where I'll state for those of you who are on the fence as to whether you want to do pre-built or DIY. For those who just want pre-built, nothing to worry about. I'm totally with you. I get it. And that's, I've been helping with that for years now. But if you're on the fence between DIY and pre-built, seriously consider DIY because you can make a more complete build on a budget. You get more for your money, parts-wise. And there you go. There is an exemplary example of it right there. Today, it's 1080p gaming. That can change quickly. Can you not do 1440p with a 4070 Super? Chris K. 4070 Super would crush 1440p gaming. And if it's struggling with anything, that's what DLSS 3 is for, right? I, look, I like balanced systems. Um, and most pre-built buyers should not be expected to upgrade anything. They shouldn't be obligated to have to upgrade anything. It's easy for people who are DIY oriented to say, oh, it's easy to upgrade this stuff. What if you never want to open up your case? You're very, you're, you're completely, uh, you're not obligated to upgrade anything. You don't have to. I do think that it would be fairly easy to upgrade storage in the one that has a slower, smaller storage. That's fine. And they did say they want to be able to upgrade their CPU over time. So they're likely open to upgrading their storage, which is way easier. And clearly I support upgrading your PC because I'm building an entire series on that. So that's not really an issue. It's like, I don't want to assume anyone is willing to do it though. So I don't know. This is going to be a matter of preference. It's tough. And Rachel, you haven't really said anything. You're not just a passenger on this ride. You're supposed to be backseat driving. What do, what do you think between the two? They're around the same price and you get a more powerful GPU in one with uh, with one terabyte of storage, which you'll probably have to upgrade pretty, pretty soon if you download a bunch of games or something. And uh, also slightly slower memory, which is really not going to make a, a noticeable difference in your day to day usage. Cherokee Vapor, don't don't play with my emotions like that. When it comes to budget builds, Zach is very, very good. But I, I, you know what? Maybe. I don't know if he'd be like, you bottlenecked that GPU because we're talking about... <sighs> talking about Zach. He's very, he gets annoyed when he gets questions on bottlenecks, though. It is a lovely case. It really is. It's very nice. Cougar did a great job on this. Not going to lie. I do think it looks awesome. Lots of flexibility in where you place that fan too, which I do like. I think it might look better with a 140 millimeter fan though. It clearly has the placement for it. Um, well, not really getting a re response from Rachel at this point. Are you still with us? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just link both of these then. New to PC gaming, but FPS is the most important thing to me. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, it's going to be the one with the 4070 Ti. There you go. Thank you for telling me. It's all I needed to know. 
That's a sick deal for that system. It really, really is. It's, it's already discounted. You get a further discount by using code SWARM. Here you go. There you go. All right. Use that code at checkout and you'll get an even more discount on it right there. Shipping is included. It's free shipping. It should arrive within around two weeks, like you stated there in your form. It's just so, so much good. Lots of good stuff coming from there. So, yeah. Very happy with that one. Okay, Joyful Star, it is your turn. Thank you very much. Love these type of channels. Happy to hear it. I will say, nobody really does what I do, at least not for free. You can find places that'll give you build advice and things like that um, for a fee. But, um, I, you know, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of my fellow tech content creators. They're amazing. Um, no one's really doing what I'm doing and that makes me sad and also stresses me out because it's a lot of responsibility for one person, but yeah, uh, joyful star. Now yours is going to be difficult. I need to know what your max budget is. What is the max budget? Cause you said less than a thousand. Is it 850? Is it nine, 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 $999 or is it like 1250? What's the actual full budget? Clips of 2400 with a 4080 about a year ago. Nice. Zach would only want some uh, cable extensions, so it was an excellent build job. That's true. I should have recommended that. I should have channeled Zach. And also, I should have, I should, have, in order to do that properly, one thing you have to do is you have to pronounce it graphics card. Graphics card. You got to really hit that A like you hate it. Lesson number one on being a Zach's Tech Turf parody. It's just like with Short Circuit. If you want to, if you want to be like uh, Alex, every time he reviews a laptop, you have to say laptop, laptop. It's how you pronounce the letter A is really important with impersonating people. Laptop. Graphics card. Gra ah. Oh, dude, how do you do that, Zach? I, I, I just think I just gave myself a mind grade. Or a aneurysm. About nine hundred dollars. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now because you want it pre-built. I don't think we're gonna be able to go with the Tustin California Micro Center unless we do a fully pre-built system, not a custom parts list, because they charge a minimum of one hundred and fifty dollars just to build it. That goes just to the build fee. Crash, I would spell out how you pronounce, how, how Zach pronounces it, but I'm pretty sure Automod would stop me. <laughs> Hi, Zach. You're the best, dude. Thank you for being nice to me when I was giving constructive criticism about your builds. I did that. I gave constructive criticism about his pre-builds. And he was like, that was good. That was good feedback. Thank you. And what a dude, you know? It is really easy for us to slip into a um, y'all can't tell me nothing kind of vibe, kind of uh, frame of mind. You got to avoid that. D dialogue, discussion, discourse, that's how you learn stuff. So the other part of this, okay, Joyful Star, is that you want to do a lot with this system. It's not going to be very good at any one of those things. Generally, the more use cases you put on a PC, you have to invest in different components, different specs a little more. For streaming, I recommend in investing more into your motherboard to get more I.O. Uh, for content creation video editing, you need more RAM capacity. Graphic design, your RAM needs to also be fast. Things like that. Power spec pre-built, pretty much what I'm gonna look at, yeah. So I recommend you. You're so helpful. Full knowledge. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. 
I plan on making art and animation to be more specific. Uh, okay. Let's take a look at what they have at the Tustin Micro Center and go from there. Because I was doubting myself with doing the parts list before for Jasmine. No need to doubt things now. Let's take a look at what's there at Micro Center. No. Now, one good thing about gaming PCs is if you have a gaming PC, it's going to be kind of pretty good at a lot of these things already. But generally, you won't prioritize the CPU enough for the other use cases that you have there. Or the, well, I mean, and RAM capacity too. But let's see what we can find. Also, what did you say to upgrading your CPU? You don't care about that. That's good. What's going to help is going Intel here. I watch your videos about Alexander PCs and I really like them. Well, you could go with an Auxilia if you want to, but we are going to be taking a look at the Tustin California Micro Center so that if you ever have an issue, you don't have to ship the PC. You just drive it over there. Now, that is also the case for um, both Skytech, well, Sky I buy Power. A lot of those SIs are right there in City of Industry, California, not much farther than I don't know what direction away from Tustin California you are but it would be a little bit more of a drive or a little bit less of a drive, depending. Um, they're right there in City of Industry. So you can also get a PC from them and just will call it and go pick it up. But let's see what's at Micro Center. Okay. Desktops. This is what I was talking about earlier, though, that if you took the plunge and went DIY, DIY to do a DIY build, you would get more for your for your nine hundred dollars. But at nine hundred bucks, we should be able to find something here. Let's go with Power Spec. Of course, they have the most options in Power Spec. This is their in-house brand. You said you wanted it to be black. Okay, this is probably going to be the last one of the night, guys. Just so y'all know, we are well past midnight, and I've got about fifteen minutes left before my cutoff here. So let's do our budget here if we can. Okay, 750 to 1,000. There are seven options. I like that. Uh, let's see. Yo, this has a 14700K. Oh, it has integrated graphics. Okay. Integrated graphics. RX 7600, 5800X 5, 5, 3D. Okay. Uh... 4060 with a 12400 F. Okay. 5600 X3D and a 4060. X3D chips are great for uh for this and not as good for everything else. That's the problem with those. So Intel, since you don't care about upgrading your CPU down the line to like and I mean if you get a 12400 a 12 what, what was it what was the cpu uh on this one was it an f it was a 12400 f okay so i'm gonna recommend here with this system which by the way is 899 which is right at your budget i'm going to recommend that you don't wait that long to upgrade your cpu and i'll show you exactly the cpu that you should upgrade to but let's take a closer look at the system first because good lord that is slow memory oh my God, maybe memory first. Ugh. And it's MATX. That is a downer. That is a big downer because you have less expandability for things like internal capture cards. Probably pretty bad rear IO as well. It is not great. Why? Why are there three video outputs on this motherboard? Why? What is this motherboard? What motherboard is in here? Uh, specs. Asus Prime B660M-A. AC-D4. Let's take a look. Uh, 
I mean, they certainly don't skimp on the PCIe expansion slots. Now you get two M.2 slots in this, two places to put storage. And what do they give you for your primary storage? A one terabyte. Okay, cool. No further details. Micro Center, you could do better than that. Come on. Now then, the RTX 4060 is not a powerhouse of a GPU, but 1080p gaming, streaming, DLSS, it has all of those things, including things like, um, G what is it, uh, what do they call it? G4 Studio, whatever, the NVIDIA Studio stuff, okay? Uh, where you can do things like noise cancellation on your microphone. You can do things like removing your background on your webcam, things like that, all built in to the 4060 uh, plus DLSS 3.0. These are things that are going to make up for its lack of raw power. Uh, okay. So it could be a better motherboard. It could be a bigger case so that it could fit a bigger motherboard. They could fit more things, but that 4060 is not taking up all of the space here. So you actually can fit an internal capture card. Plus it is a high airflow case. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of room for upgrades here, and that is not a bad thing. I know you said you're not interested in upgrading your CPU over time, but you kind of don't have a choice here, IMO. So I'll show you what you could upgrade to, okay? Because it's a B-series motherboard, we're not talking about any kind of, like, overclockable CPU. But something like a... Let's see. No, we want parts. Okay. Okay. PC parts, processors. Intel. I guess I'll do it the slow way. Thanks, guys. And... What? I guess I went over on the price. Okay. Sweet. Cool with that. Uh, let's see. 14400 is a $200 upgrade you can make in a couple months, and it would give you not just the integrated graphics for video editing and stuff. Did you mention video editing thing? You did, okay. So you can you could get quick sync on that thing, okay? The other thing is you also get four efficiency cores. Like the 12600K or KF or non-K. You look at that, this is, this is the one that it comes with except you get a 12400F. So it's a six core processor. This is a 10 core processor, 199. There's also the 14500. I was looking for the 13400 because it's really not much difference between the 13400 and the 14400, really very little difference. I was looking for the 13500 because I think that gives you an extra four efficiency cores. That's what I would go for, but they don't seem to have it unless it was in this bracket and I just missed that. It was not, it's all, yeah, no. Now, the other thing is your memory, because good Lord, they didn't give you much memory here and it's not fast, okay? So basically, you have a few upgrades you can do. 16 gigs of DDR4, 2666 is not great. So what you would do is, no, not, I didn't mean to click the whole thing. Computer memory. Desktop memory, right, what's all computer RAM, all desktop memory, what's the deal here? Is it not gonna tell me anything about it? There's just no information here. I just have to click blindly. That's beautiful, love it. Uh, DDR4 3200, this is a 16 gig kit. I would want a 32 gig kit for you. Uh, is there a thing to select through those? No, I guess I'll just pick my information here, okay. Year four, you can even get a 64 gig kit for a pretty good price. And that is maximizing the memory capacity on that motherboard. Although it may be that it's max 16 gigs per dim. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, DDR4, 32, that's two by 16 right here. And then we just go for the lowest price. Sort by lowest price. Okay, there's a $55 kit. Just like that. DDR5. I don't know what the speed is. Let's pick the let's pick the memory speed. The frequency. 
3,600 or 3,200? I don't do much AAA gaming, so it might not be an issue. All good. Looks bad. I'm not sure what you mean looks bad, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. Uh, NVIDIA is getting rid of that GPU interface control panel for something totally different. Uh, don't know which will be better or worse. Are you talking about NVIDIA GeForce Experience? Because yeah, they are getting rid of that. Oh, Brian says, I'll send some pics of my RB25 S13 Sylvia in the Apex email. <laughs> okay. I, uh, I just saw that, Brian, and... Um, I had a 240SX and uh, I did not do any, I had no front clip, none of that stuff to turn it into an, to a Sylvia. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if, if, if anything, let's call it a 180SX. How about that? Because that's what it would have been called over there. Although it's a 2.4 liter truck engine and those things, but whatever. Um, let's look at this kit here. I know I'm zoomed in. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be. Sorry about that. Uh, 65 bucks, DDR4, 3200, CL16 for 32 gigs. This is where you would want to go. You want to get something like this, okay? And it's 65 bucks, and it's super easy to swap out. You just unclick the RAM that's in there and click in the RAM that you want to put in there. So this is over time. The thing is, whether or not you want to upgrade your system with all of the things you want to do with it and the budget that you have, which is just the reality. That's the reality of it. You're going to need to do some upgrades over time in order to get to where it's doing this stuff to any level that you that you can get a workflow going. Because let me tell you something. As someone who edits video a lot, I have a video editor, but all the final editing, stuff like that, effects, things like that, I usually do that myself. There's nothing worse than when you're in a you're in a flow state and you're getting work done and your whole thing is running slowly and eventually Premiere Pro or whatever grays out on you and it's frozen because you just ran out of memory. So you're going to want to be able to do that stuff. Oh, I'm at the RAM speed. Yeah. At least that's another one of those things that's really easy to upgrade. Are oh, you a good crash? All good. Have a good one. So yeah, I would say that that's a, that's a, that's a decent build for the money. Go that route. Um, I don't know that I would want to put you on 5,000 series Ryzen, like on some of these other systems. And the re there is a reason for that. Okay, not new tab. No, I want to do a duplicate. Thank you. There is a reason for that. Okay, because of Intel's hybrid architecture in 12th gen, 13th gen, and 14th gen. That is the actual reason why. Um, there are some caveats to it. Oh, I, I, that's what I did. I, I opened it here. Okay. But yeah, if you're looking at these, there are just some 5000 series Ryzen ones that are like better for gaming only. But gaming is only one of the long list of things you want to do with this. And if you upgrade to something like a 13400 or 14400 or whatever, you're going to have 10 cores to play with instead of six or eight. So there you go. I guess that's what I would recommend. It's a tough one. And it's a tough one specifically because of the list of things you want to do, which I totally get. Those are all awesome things and you should do them. Uh, just know that once you get to a point where you're doing enough and it's running a bit slowly for you, you have options to upgrade it. And I, by that time, I'll have parts of the series out that you can check out. That'll show you how to do some of those things. Okay. Like I've got you. Also, it's a hundred bucks off right now. So that's nice. Uh, is there a share feature here? I'll just get the, I'll get this. There we go. Sure. That works. There you go.
You know what? We did six tonight. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I'm happy with that. For those of you who've been waiting forever, I know. It's not just about me getting to help you out specifically. I want you guys to be here and and, and, and pick up some of this stuff that I'm doing. Pick up some of the, the determinations making. Why do I look so washed out? Have I looked this washed out the whole time? I Do I not have any filter on this? Oh boy, that would be why. I've looked like deathly pale this whole time. I'm not going to throw a LUT on there now. We're, we're done for the night, but still. No, it looks more washed out now. That's I was adjusting it. I was getting there. So you recommended CH 560. CH 560. Personally, if the $35 price difference is not an issue, CH 560. Easily. It's an excellent case. It looks amazing in white, too. So black or white doesn't matter. And if you match it up with one of their admittedly pricey air coolers, the aesthetic is mind-blowing. But it's CH560, Craigum. And that one you guys can see me build in if you go to my YouTube channel. You what? YouTube took down UFD Tech. That will not stand. Nope. Uh-uh. Why is this on here? You guys know I did a, a, a setup tour way back in the day with my setup in the old house. It was pretty sick. It was better than this setup in, in you know, the end result anyway. Uh, but if you go to my channel and you go to live, you'll see all my pre previous live streams. A lot of these look the same. I know. Look, I finally changed the PC to like another PC. Uh, and I'll change that up every now and then. But where was the build? It's right here. You can see me building in the CH560. Uh, so like Such a nice, control. nice case. And then this is going to have that middle notch here and an opening in the top of the socket for it. So you know. Thanks for the stream. You got it. Header, Thanks for hanging out. Goes. And joyful start. Sure over, I hope it turns out great. Which tell them over there. Ready tell ready tell ready Jeremy. <clears throat> tell Jeremy over oh, there boy. at uh, Micro Center right. that I said hi. <laughs> that Bray Thorne said hi. And then thumbs up. That's a thumbs up for Jeremy. What's up, Jeremy? I talked to you like one time. We haven't talked since, and we need to. But uh, yeah, anyway. Okay, so we've got 35 people in Twitch. Anyone who wants to be part of a raid, please come over to Twitch, if you don't mind. I love doing this. It is so much fun, and I want you to be part of it. Uh, Chise is streaming again. Sea Dog VA is streaming. I'm a fan of this content, but like, I, I doubt we'll be noticed by in the 6.4K people that are watching. Um, Kia, Kia Pia is streaming. It's a birthday subathon. Is wait, I thought hasn't that been on there forever? Okay, it's yeah, they're, they're asleep right now. And. Okay, here's what we're doing, guys, for the raid. All right, everybody stay with me. Come over to YouTube if you're not... Uh, come over to Twitch if you're not already on Twitch. But let me see when this is going to end. I need to see this. Is it still going? It's still going. Okay, guess what? We're going to go over and hang out on Alexander PCs. They're not doing any builds this late at night. No, they have a streamer streaming on there right now. Um, it's uh, a Victory Royale is the name of the streamer. Okay. But look in the panels for this right here. This is a giveaway where there are five days left to win a, an Alexander PC's Centurion with a 14600K CPU. And I don't remember the GPU. But yes, 
So you guys, we're, I'm going to take you over there. You're going to be super cool and nice and say hi. Go to the panels, click this, enter the giveaway. But as for our stream here, we are finally coming to an end. Thank you guys so much for hanging out during the stream. I appreciate you. We've been here for hours. But uh, as usual, it's been a great time. Thank you so much, guys. So let's... Um... Okay, if you can message someone on Twitch that, you have, you can actually call 911 because you've better if you do it, okay? Otherwise, don't do that, okay? I have a phone. I'm going to tell some random streamer to call 911 instead of calling it myself. That's that's great. Really brilliant. Okay. All righty, guys. I'll catch you all later. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you all on Thursday. Don't forget, later this week, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of a mystery PC. The PC, it is a mystery. And it's a mystery that Skytech sent me. And they're over there just cackling, knowing what's in there. I don't know what's in the box. I don't open these things before stream. So be here. It's going to be probably Friday night at 8 p.m. Okay? If not, I'm going to start early on Thursday. So watch the announcements in the Discord. Watch my Twitter, at Brayathorn. I announce stuff there. And until then, take care. Let's go, nerds!